I did very well really, really high then. I'm gonna say box is on the table. I know. I was looking at your brain, I was like, yeah. You might strip you of the title of that. How are you doing? Okay, now? Okay, so we got the <laughs> you get rid of me with Google, I'm waiting for these little minutes. No. Really good. I, I really, I, w- I really want to just get that out. I really, really. I'm, I'm just like, yeah, we're just like waiting. Just the the camera is live now. Just putting it out there. Right. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna like hold. I know it's a remake, and there's like two or three more out. Is it two or three people? Yeah. It's also like two or three people. Two or three people. Two or three people. Two or three people. Just living my life. Just living my life. Just living my life. Just living my life, just living my life, just living my life, it's my time. Just living my life, just living my life, just living my life, it's my time. Just living my life, just living my life, just living my life, it's my I came from Philly, then I moved to Harrisburg Spent time in Cali, blowing on the rarest herb Made some bread, was a manager then Good at dealing with people, couldn't handle the pen Money had me scrambling, like Randall back then Ups and downs with my chick, hard to handle it, man What's the dough really mean without family and love? Still go for your dreams, but put family above All the shallow shit People try to take you off your path, you don't allow that shit Stop wanting love from those that don't know you Appreciate your folks that seen what you go through Why would I stop? I don't even know how Papa Zan, that's the only way I slow down I could entertain y'all, but I'm no clown Huff and puff on that L till it blows down Just living my life, just living my life, just living my life just living my life, just living my life, just living my life. Just living my life, just living my life, just living my life. It's my time. Just living my life, just living my life, just living my life. It's my time. Athletic at the peak of my life. Slipped a couple times. I was speeding on ice. Never took a risk. Then you cheat in your life. You never took a risk. Then you cheat in your life. It's a hole in my heart. Probably never be filled. Yeah. Welcome, everyone, to Tornado Tag episode number four. Dave likes to do the little thing. So go ahead, Dave. What, what episode are we doing here? We are on the Four Horsemen. The Four Horsemen episode. And it is, I mean, I our our, ta- our our show is called Tornado Tag because we got we just got four people who don't tag in and we just go off the cuff and just cut each other off and it's awesome. Um, but tonight we actually, um, it's like a, how, how, I'm trying to think of the wrestling term when you add another tag team to the mix here. Um Ooh. Like six a tri- man tag, like a, like a triple, a triple threat, six man tag, Fatal or whatever. Four-way? So we have, <laughs> like, so we have another, another two guys on the phone. We have Austin joining us once again. Um, real before and Austin, we have another special guest on the phone. We'll get to in one second. But I just want to give a quick shout out. Um, intro song tonight. Um, Vito from Harrisburg. All of your things in the description. Check him out. I actually really enjoy that song, man. I, I that's some, some good stuff. Uh, did a great job. And, and as you say, yeah, just turn your. <laughs> thing a hair just so it's not looking you might have to turn the camera. yeah because you don't have much room on that mic all right um andy brought his belt tonight too that's displayed yeah i won that beautifully yeah. beautifully <laughs> the wwe championship that's actually uh, the one we see more often than not so sexy yeah, gave that to me. <laughs> so yeah. sexy <laughs> um yeah um so and then today on the phone um we have fox uh ryan Vox, the uh, it was a commissioner, commissioner, the commissioner the, of the Outbreak. brainchild of Outbreak Wrestling. Yeah, huh? Outbreak Wrestling. Super excited to have you, buddy. There. Hey, bud. How are you? You're doing great, man. We appreciate you having Austin. Just give you a quick check. You're still there. Yep. Awesome. All right, great guys. That. Um, up in the world, we got people on the phone. Yeah, we have yeah. two. We got two people time. on the phone. <laughs> two at the same time. Um, viewers are. We're, we're still flowing some viewers in as we go. Um, the, the only thing we want to call out real quick. Um, tomorrow night we're gonna. I'm going to be running from work, meeting Ben and Frackville, and then darting up to ha- Hazleton. Um, tomorrow night is the uh, – I got my ticket here. I just got it from from Dave, the uh, PPW show. Um, one night one night only. Um, the It's the TNA merger show. They're going to do a little – Impact. Impact Wrestling. Oh, yeah. Impact. My bad. TNA is dead. Yeah, TNA is they're dead. Gonna, we'll have some Impact Everybody guys there. Um, I'm excited. Rich Swan, um, And then, of course, uh, Johnny, whatever. Johnny, 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 Johnny. Is, he jo- is he Johnny? You're, Johnny, Johnny your, P- your boy love child. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny P- Formerly known as John Morrison of the WWE, Johnny Impact. Johnny Mundo. He will be defending his Impact Heavyweight title against Eli Drake. Dummy. Yeah. 
Can we get a can it, can we get a Johnny PPW chant going tomorrow? <laughs> Johnny PPW. <that'll> be, <laughs> I, I think we can do that. I every, think we can. Whatever promotion he goes to, he just changes his last name. Right. Yeah. Johnny Johnny Lucha. Or no, Johnny, what was Mundo. It? Mundo. Mundo. Johnny Mundo. Johnny Mundo. Yeah, Johnny Mundo. Um. Yeah. So that's that's taken care of. We're, that's gonna be a fun time. We're all gonna go hang out and meet some people and have a blast there. Um, I hope I just didn't. All right, yeah, we still got him. Please, if you are a viewer, do not be afraid to come up and talk to us. We love to talk wrestling. We have no issue talking with anybody. We would love to talk wrestling. Please come up, share your thoughts with us. If you like the show, give us a like. And let's all have a good time tomorrow night. Yeah, let's try not to get thrown out. If you're afraid of Dave, I understand if you don't want to talk to us. But the rest of us are pretty cool. I guess I'm the only one not going. Yeah, Tyler. Yeah. Tyler's not going. Are He's you going? Be, I, won't, I won't be there. No, you got a show? So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I took a show. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Oh, they put me in the cards. I, I thought you were on the card. No. No. Uh, okay. look. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, and then another thing we're doing tonight, we don't have the viewers yet, but we'll, we'll get to it eventually. Um, we have a tag in there. So if, if someone joins a chat and they say, I'm here for the tickets, we'll come up with some funny way we can get them to win their tickets. So we can ask them a trivia question or something, and we'll go from there. We'll I still have a few trivia questions in my notebook here. I love it. That's what we're going to do then. Um, but yeah, so on the phone, uh, uh, Mr. Vox, the commish. How you doing, brother? Good, good. How are all you guys? Um, we're doing phenomenal. Once again, highly, we're really, really happy you're able to join us on the phone. Um, give us a quick rundown what to expect in this next Outbreak show. Other than me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, the champ there is going to be defending against Dame in two out of three falls. So that'll be, uh, of course, the main event. Oh, yeah. I, I already have it, and not just because Andy's sitting here. I already have it as the, as the, night, the match of the night. That's my that's my shoe in for match tonight, but there is tremendous tremendous talent. But that's just how much um, confidence I have in Andy and, and Damien to, uh, to go in there and just to steal the show, man. They're super super talented guys, and they're they're fighting for the belt, so they they should be the most talented guys going for it, right? That's right. Oh yeah, I mean it certainly could be match of the night. But uh, if you saw the promo that Shooter just put out. He's saying that him and Austin are supposed to be the match of the I night. Was, I was uh, actually going to mention that. <laughs> yeah, that was. I was going to do the same thing. So um, Austin, he broke the internet. Yeah, um, he broke the internet. He broke the Good internet, boy. and then he uh, and now he's coming to PPW to to, to get outbreak. 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 Oh, what am I doing? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, outbreak <laughs> to uh, to do it again. Possibly. Do you guys have anything anything cool for him to jump off of? I mean, we're in a brand new venue, so. Uh, I haven't been in that venue in about six years, but I think there are basketball hoops. All so right. I remember probably. <laughs> don't want to break anything. First time yeah. there. We I think I remember asking a two to throw somebody through the basketball hoops. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll figure something. They'll figure something out. But yeah, that's going to be a great match. I, I do love the promos. I I, I look forward to those um, coming out as they as the as the show gets closer uh, uh, to the to the date. But we're probably going to have another show here as well before that show goes on so we're going to do a little more coverage of that as well Excellent. so how did your how did the ticket giveaway go for you guys did you guys did you guys announce those yet uh no i don't think we announced them yet jared handles pretty much all of that stuff he's remarkable with all the promotion and marketing ideas that he has it makes my life a thousand times easier mm -hmm. Yeah, he does a phenomenal job. You guys have been giving us a lot of love here on our page, and we, we definitely appreciate that. You guys, every time we go, we have a blast. You guys do a great show. Um, you're very, very fa family friendly. Ticket prices are amazing. Uh, you just have food. You're allowed to drink beer. I'm cool with that. That's that's a good time. Well, can um, you drink beer in the new building? Uh, t tell them, Blocks, real quick that uh, we obviously it's not at the Temple Fire Company. Yeah, so this, one, this show you we can. We do have a venue the change. The Hamburg one, you can drink beer. Right, right. Yeah, you can't drink in Birdsboro, though. Yeah, that's we we'll, we'll we'll leave it in the parking lot. Okay, it is the community <laughs> center, right? There you go. <laughs> but uh, Vox, you are the brainchild of Outbreak Wrestling, and for anybody who might not have ever seen an Outbreak Wrestling show, give us a little sample of what they can expect in year two of Outbreak. Uh, well, we're going to really establish the Intimidator Championship, which is only for guys two hundred fifty pounds and bigger. Because I mean, look at wrestling now; everything is. Guys under 200, running, you know, 210 pounds, mm -hmm. super athletic guys. It seems like the heavyweights just kind of got lost in the shuffle somewhere. Yeah. They, man, they put on great matches. You know, I, I've always had the idea for a title like this. And then when I watched Laszlo versus Ed House, I was like, man, look at these guys go. Look at how, you know, they've got the fans just right there. It was a completely different thing than like when – Andy's going against Dame and the fans are having their huge pop reactions, you know, 
it just makes for a, a more well-rounded chef. Yes, it's a, it, there's something for everybody there. And then your superstars have more to work for toward, towards as well because then now they have somewhere else to fit in, which is which is good to see. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, 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 and the Bad Street titles, we're finally going to crown those in July. Explain the to them finish up. What, what they are real quick. What's so that? Explain, explain what the Bad the, Street yeah. tournament. Well, explain the titles to people that don't understand uh, the early 90s WCW reference. Right, right, right. And everyone knows I'm an early 90s mark. It's where I get half my ideas from. <laughs> but, uh, Just, unless you're not putting yeah, anything on polls. I'm not the big John <laughs> no show. No polls. But uh, no, it's, uh, it's a six-man title, and it carries a free bird rule, so it doesn't necessarily have to be the three guys, or I should say the three participants that win the championship that go on to defend it. It just has to be the stable. It has to be that crew. So a group like the crew of blood that has five members can rotate people in and out. Uh, a group like death camp that has Rebecca Payne as a member can put her right into it. It doesn't make a difference. Awesome. So this, this championship is literally for anybody. Yeah, it's, That's it's a cool. pretty cool idea. I mean, even if I wasn't there, like six man titles with those rules, it, it's a cool idea. And they're obviously named after the free birds. So. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'd be, it, it, and it maybe it can entice some people to throw a stable together and, and run for it, which is which is always fun to see when you see guys working together. I mean, we've got five guys. Maybe we should get in. I, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. Well, <laughs> I'm literally just, just tag, we're tagging. I'm tagging Andy and Tyler, and then I'm just going to run around and, and be the manager. I'll be the guy on the side just screaming. Um, here's my only – I have a question for you because, uh, you know, I know you – before the brainchild thing, um, as as a competitor, you were in the mirror, you were mixing it up, you were part of, you know, we we came as drunken idiots to a firehouse before it was considered outbreak, and you guys had the uh, the it was AXW, mm -hmm. yeah. and and Motley Crue hit, and we lost Motley our minds because that is uh, well the Motley Crue song hit, <laughs> and we lost our mind because that is our all time favorite song I've ever. It just it's just, it's, it's a masterpiece, um, and we all started screaming and chanting and having a blast, and and that was your tag team. Um, how was it, to, you know, taking that step back from being in the ring and then doing what you do now? Oh, I'm I'm absolutely fine with it. Uh, that was kind of my goal the entire time. Mm -hmm. I just I just know that there's no way I could ever run a company and try to figure all this out if I didn't get in there and do it myself first. Yeah. So that's what I did, and it's funny you mentioned that show because that was probably our favorite entrance we ever did <laughs> and it was all because of how much you guys were into it it was an absolute blast yeah we were i mean alcohol held but it was so much fun <laughs> that was that you was guys were screaming kickstart my heart at the top of your lungs yeah, the whole the time, whole time. Yeah. and then and then um just to go back to that show um the women's match was hilarious because it was uh, Pandora versus um, Sammy Pandora, the unbreakable box. And yeah. you guys were chanting, break that box. We were, we were rooting for the heel. <laughs> um, she was wrestling uh, the, the, the Debbie Kane, I believe it was. Yeah, she was, yeah. She was very cute too. Um, but she came out and she and she was the heel and every, we don't boo the heels. We like to cheer for them. So we were chanting, break that box. And and she did. She she put her up in the corner and she, she broke the box. Yeah. She didn't win the match, but she uh, she she peased the fans. So we were we were for that. Uh, Blue Meanie that night was there. He was honestly at all the main dudes I've ever seen, like that you know worked in the main shows and then came down and 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 did anything. He's a sweetheart. The guy was just such a nice guy. Like it was such a cool experience. Like he wasn't sheltered off from anybody. You could have walked right up to him. It was he was. I just I really enjoyed that show. That was a good time. Yeah, that was a fun one. The only reason we haven't been back there is because we don't actually own a ring that's small enough. We had to borrow that one from somebody else. Yeah, I have a ring. Yeah, <laughs> he, actually does, he, have a he really does have a ring. He, he does. does. It's smaller. It's a fourteen footer. Well, no, you need a smaller, like, not up. Oh yeah, 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 it's a pony. Ring. Oh, is it? Oh, I bought that. Yeah, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, we needed <laughs> to use a pony for that one. I, the that honest, was the show honestly, that Gams did the Superfly Splash. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, <laughs> That that would be a tough venue now anyway because I feel like you're just you've you've outgrown that building. Like if you put your show in there, I don't I think you're gonna miss people are gonna miss out on it because you guys put some you put some seat in the butts at, at in Hamburg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was definitely a lot. Yeah, we may have outgrown that venue, but that was very young in AXW's tenure too. I think that was only their second or third show that they had there. Yeah, yeah, that that I love that show. I love the vibe. That was good stuff. 
So coming up with the with PPW, not just just, just the outbreak. next show. But, or, I'm sorry, outbreak. I keep get this, get this ticket away. From me. I keep looking down at the computer and that ticket's looking at me. Um, the outbreak show. Um, what are what are some? Uh, can you give us any teasers of anything besides some titles? Anything you're looking forward to, or something you maybe want to throw down the line? Um, I don't know how looking forward to it I am, but uh, Andy Weinberg's going to be there. And he's oh come on, not that guy. Say. And- <laughs> you know, he he tends to be a stable guy himself, so it's going to be interesting what he has in mind. I'm sure with his colorful suits. Yeah, yeah really. <laughs> is there is there oh, a super yeah, yeah. is there a superstar on the roster that you're keeping your eye on that you think that could have a big year this season? Besides the guys going for titles, uh, Mason Martin, man, kid Baltimore just won Beast. Rookie of the Year in one of his other federations, and yeah, that kid could be on fire. Um, Babyface Ian. Tyler Ash, both of them. Yeah, they could both have huge years. And he has wrestling Cortez, right? Yes. Yeah. Cortez is always cool to watch. He he always puts on a great match. He's he's just he's a he's a great heel, um, and he doesn't break it. <laughs> Especially no, we try, no, he does. We try to cheer for him, and he just looks at us like, "Stop it! I hate you." <laughs> and who, who's in the? Right, yeah, don't cheer for me, or I'll come over there and smack you in the face. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who's in the Intimidator title finals? It is uh, Yams, the Working Man, and Grey Wolf. Oh, okay. is that okay? I wasn't sure. Everyone like is it Yams versus so and so, and Yams. Yams is a good worker too, man. He he goes out there and does it. Um, kind of bummed that the Ed House uh, sh- show uh, the match failed fell, fell, fell through a little bit because uh, Grim definitely shocked us that last show um, in that triple threat yeah. ladder match when he when he suicide dive front flipped over the top rope. Did not see that uh, and that didn't come in, and then he went for like a, a four fifty or a moonsault. Yeah, he hit a four fifty. Unbelievable. Yeah, you don't expect that to come from a guy that size and super athletic. Have you found a replacement yeah, no. for Ed, uh, Ed House in this upcoming Not show? Not Ed House, Mr. Grimm, right? Yeah, Mr. Grimm fellow. Oh, Mr. Ed Grimm, House, yes, Mr. Grimm. Yeah, Ed House needs the opponent. Yeah, yeah. So Ed will have an opponent, I'm sure. Uh, he said he was going to issue an open challenge. We'll Interesting. See what happens there. Interesting there. See if he decides to answer that and come out. Mm. House has kind of been on fire lately. Yeah, that's his home. That's his. That's his. That's his backyard. That's his hometown, right? His yeah, never, his home literally literally his back even with Corey Cross there, he can't get booed. It's amazing. Yeah, <laughs> and Corey Cross has his back out at ringside, so you know he always has an ace up his sleeve if he needs it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we'll put you on the spot here. Who, who do you who do you got for the main event? <laughs> what, with, with Dame and Andy? Yeah, what, what, what do you, how do you think that's playing if, out? If you were a betting man. If you were a betting man, <laughs> how do you think that plays out? I was a betting man. Yeah. Oh man! If you were gonna, if you were to give a tail of the tape, what would you th- what, what do you look for in that match? We each get a fall, and then it goes the time limit draw. That's <laughs> not <laughs> another time limit draw. <laughs> I mean, I can't keep calling uh, you guys a time you know limit draw. Well, you know me too well. Uh, <laughs> our Broadway kid, seven star match, calling it now. Yeah, I, seven. I, yeah. I don't know, man. It's going to be really interesting because Andy's the vet. He's got the endurance. You know, this isn't his first rodeo. Yeah, this is true. I, uh, yeah. I I kind of broke it down a little bit in our interview that we did. I said uh, I said Andy Andy does have the the veteran experience. He's been to different promotions. He's he's been he's had, he has his time in the ring. He's put it in um, very well deserving champion. I, I, he, and he definitely proved it in that ladder match. Um, but Damien's man, if you follow him on social media, that guy's a workhorse. He's putting the time in at the gym. He's getting in there. He wants it. He's hungry. So he's he's coming for it. And it's it's interesting because you have two. Even though he's serious business. Um, they're two guys that are very, very humble, very, you know, they, they respect their opponents. Um, sometimes a little too much. They both kind of, Damien kind of dances and has fun, but it's going to be interesting to see them shed that, shed that, uh, put that respect towards uh, getting serious and, and, and putting the work in. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, Dame's great. And I think it's, it's really good to see what happened with the first fall. Mm-hmm. You know, that's going to set the tone. Absolutely. I agree. Then you're ahead. If I get on the head, then, you know. It's like it's, it's Dame fighting me, so yeah. I'm not, I'll try to get the first one, then they get the second one, and get out of it. Huh? <laughs> yep, <I'm, laughs> and have a match tonight. That's the idea. <laughs> I'm pumped, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, it, and it's cool because it's I was kind of I mean if that that ladder match when I first came in and I seen the card and I was like I'm not gonna lie I sorry Mr. Grimm but I was like who's this guy like I said oh, why would you not put Wild Child in this this ladder match like that would have been show stealing and then Grimm Grimm showed why he belonged there. But now it works out even better because now we get that one on one with uh, with the wild child and serious business. Yeah, it's definitely going to be something. Definitely. 
Yeah, the, the whole show should be pretty good. I, I'm looking forward to it. And, Even uh, if I wasn't on it. Yeah. <laughs> the undercards are very good, too. We're coming up on the uh, year two start. It's been one full year. We've had a great year. But Vox, year two of the Livewire Invitational. Can you give us any names of who's going to be involved in the Livewire Invitational? Uh, well, already announced was Sabal. He'll be in it. Um, he's not necessarily new to Outbreak, but he hasn't gotten in the ring very much. Kind of done more managing and being on the outside. We announced Chris Banks, or uh, that's not Chris Slade. I was gonna say, we I know Chris, Chris Slade today, <laughs> who I've only seen in person one time, and that was probably like nine months ago. But on social media, I've seen him just tearing it up all over the place. Mm-hmm. He just had a great match last weekend. So it, it's it'd be very interesting to see what he's going to get done in there. Um, yeah, you'll see some more promos come out in uh, the next week or so with more of the Invitational guys. But it's it's mostly all names, brand new, guys we've never seen an outbreak before, most of them very young. So it'll be fun. The young Lions. <laughs> an outbreak is definitely a proving ground. And uh, one match I would love to see at outbreak would be the King of Kicks, Tyler Ash, take on Sabal Del Mar. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm sure it'll happen at some point down the line if the ball keeps going in and doing, you know, working as hard as he has been. But Tyler's kind of far ahead of him right now. It's going to take a minute. Yeah. Um, I know the, the uh, you know, there was one tag team that I was a big fan of twice. Uh, and I, I kind of put a, t- a tweet out or on, in the, not really a tweet, but on uh, Instagram. Um, the, uh, Kyle and, uh, Chuck and Kyle Payne, Chuck the, extreme Kyle Redneck. Payne the extreme oh, rednecks, yeah. uh, uh, they're both, they're both healthy, cleared, ready to go. They're both doing th- their thing on the, on their, uh, in their territories. And, uh, I said to them, when are you coming back to outbreak? And they said, anytime they ask us, we're there. So that, inv- that they're, they're open for you guys at, at any time. Yeah. I've been talking to Chuck and Kyle. I've been talking. Well, we've always been talking, you know, no, they're I've been good. Chuck since almost day one. So. Yeah. They're good guys, man. Really good guys. And then yeah, that, the other yeah, guy, like, uh, Miles. Miles Millennium and uh, Tim Taylor. Oh, my God. You, you got to give them a call one day, too. Miles came in and hit that finisher, that, 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 little, that little spot. I mean, did I did. Destino? Is that, yeah, is that what did the about? Destino. And, uh, and I was like, oh, man, I want to see more of this guy. And he was just kind of a, a manager that night. But I would love to see more of him. Maybe, maybe give him a shot in an outbreak match. I mean, it hasn't been announced yet, but Miles Millennium will be in the building. Oh. Right. Oh, he will pumped. absolutely be in the building. I'm oh. pumped. And while That's... we're at it, everybody check out Tim Taylor's podcast, Straight Edge Sundays with Tim Taylor. Oh, I love that. Yeah, we'll definitely we'll give them a plug. We'll put that in the description. Um, anything else we want to cover? An outbreak for we... me? Um, I got it right that time too. Yeah. Um, yeah. One, of the, one of the superstars is going through some stuff uh, that was at the last show. Um, he came out with the. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Battle with Lewis. Lewis G. Rich. Yes. Um, Character yeah, wise, I yeah. know you're not supposed to root for the bad guys, but I loved his gimmick. He was very, very good in the ring. Um, you know, I mean, he, he, he phenomenal. And I, I know he's going through some personal stuff, but uh, we de- we definitely wish him the best. And I know for now he he hung up his boots, but um, let's let's just hope what he's going through in his personal life works itself out. And I'd love to see him in the in the ring again because um, the guys the guys good at what he does. Yeah, our door is always open for LGR whenever he's ready to come back. I'll I've tell got you, so much respect for that guy. It's unbelievable yeah i was just so excited when he was announced because i know lewis for years and years when i started in mcw way back uh this is maximum championship wrestling lewis was there along with Alan's cross yeah and i got the wrestle there so i've known him for a long time he's a great guy i hope he comes back yeah and this is not a knock to any other superstars out there but there's one thing that lewis did do that you know as a spectator um that caught my eye that i i give so much respect and tremendous you know props for um, after his match was over, he went in the back, he changed, did his thing. He came back out pretty much in civilian clothes and he grabbed a seat, a couple seats behind us. And he just sat and enjoyed the show as if he wasn't even a part of it. And just, he was, he was just, he was into it. He was just watching and he, you could just tell the dude loves professional wrestling and he was supporting the guys that were out there putting the show on. Yeah. I'm, just like you, Andy said, you know, I've, I've known Lewis the whole time I've been wrestling and he's always been such a big help to me and everything. Yeah. So I wish, we wish him the best every uh, here at the, you know, tornado tag. We, everything, I, you know, I hope everything works out and, and uh, we hope to see you back soon. Absolutely. Yeah. A little behind the scenes thing. I won't tell Lewis was uh, watching with somebody, my match, maybe two guys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, 
he said when I was up on the ladder or I was on the ropes, I looked like I was going to fall. He's like, I was ready to jump that railing to catch you if you're going to fall back off the ropes. <laughs> and I was like, that's funny. Yeah, there was a lot of spots in Thanks. that match where I was getting really nervous. <laughs> um, but yeah, you're more box. You're more than welcome to keep hanging out with us here. If you do have to go, let us know. We'll and we'll we'll, we'll definitely give you a proper uh, send off. But you're more than welcome to keep hanging out and talk pro wrestling with us. Yeah, I'll hang out for a little while. I want to do this five crappy gimmick thing. Oh, well, then we know what we five will. worst gimmicks of all let's, time. Let's just bang. Let's do our. I almost said Ben's crash phrase there. I was almost I had like to hang my, out. I made my list this morning at work. Yeah. Right here, um, it's actually the third list I made. The first one I made when, when we the last time we talked about it, lost it, so I had to make a new one. <laughs> so how you want to do it? You want to do a one for one, or do you want to just we'll stay do, your we'll, five? We'll do our five through ones. But real quick before we get in, I just want to cover on four quick small news that involves pro wrestling um, that we kind of talked right. about a little bit. Um, Dolph Ziggler refused to sign a contract. Um, I mean, all signs point AEW. Absolutely, he he needs that. He needs this. He's done more than enough for that for WWE. He, it's his time. I agree. I, I even though I'd hate to see Dolph leave because I'm a very, I'm very very high on Dolph Ziggler. Um, he 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 needs to go somewhere where he can he start can, fresh. He, he can start fresh and, and have a and, and do what he does. He's been up and down so much. Like his character is just totally beaten. The best thing for him is go somewhere else, and just like Cody did, and just create start a new over. character. Yeah, start over. And be they won all over best. again at they 38 him, years old. Yeah, yeah. They offered him producer role. He turned it down. And if he goes to AEW, he goes to New Japan, he goes to ROH or Impact. I thought for sure, like much better. New Japan would have been a perfect fit for him, like two years ago. Yeah, he can still go. I mean, I mean. Yeah, yeah, just a refreshing. Could, I mean, I don't know a guy that's won the title like he has, and literally feel like he jobbed it out the next week after he won it, time after time. And then he doesn't yeah, get, he doesn't get he's, credit he's for being a heavyweight time. champion three times. And two, it feels like, two, two, two times, and it feels like he's had the title for a week or two. <laughs> yeah, and then they're like, "Oh, yep, that's enough." He sold hey, every about, title for a week or two. How about like, when, oh, he, he'll lose it now. when he yeah. gave it the United States title for no reason? Yeah, yeah, that was terrible. Yeah. Um, Came back like two weeks yeah. later. <laughs> Other contract news: um, rumors are out there that AJ has re- has not signed a contract yet. I was just saying to my my friend, we were talking about this. Uh, I would say probably, most likely he'll stay, but it, before it was a ninety nine percent chance he's gonna stay. Now I say it's a seventy five percent chance he's gonna stay. Yeah, because I'm sure New Japan's throwing money at him and, and AEW's gonna throw money at him. I mean, and they're both. I, you know, his friends are there too. And so. he wants he doesn't want a full schedule. He wants a he wants he wants time off. The guys and he's deserved it. AEW New Japan can give him that, and as much as I hate to say this, Vince, he, he you know, go Vince a, right away. AEW and still work New Japan. Yeah. That's true. Jericho's gonna do that. But what Vince is gonna do is he's gonna crack open that pocketbook of his, mm-hmm. and I guarantee you, he's gonna be like, "Look, Brock Lesnar style money, yeah, twenty five, right. thirty million, and you can have some kind of." Some kind of freeway. That's yeah, what I you want to do. Guarantee he'll get like guaranteed time off, just like Orton does. Like Orton doesn't work half the house shows, so he gets random months off in between for no reason. Yeah, but he shows up when he wants. Whatever so. he asks for, he'll probably get. Yeah, they want to keep him. Exactly. Want to go, that's a huge. That's, loss. That's a, yeah, Vince exactly isn't afraid to throw that money around right now to keep his top guys. I mean, Lesnar's just sitting there doing nothing for twenty five million on a yeah. Legends contract. That's embarrassing. Oh shit! Well, you got Tony Khan throwing money around, which the boys are calling. Contracts. This would have been contracts. contracts. Yeah, contracts. <laughs> Good so, play on words yeah. there. So he might get a contract. I mean, I, I don't know. AJ is going to be top of the card wherever he's going to go. So I think that now, he, now he might no, stay. I, I didn't want to say now we heard this last week as a bit of a breaking news to us, but now that Wrestle Talk News has broke it, it's okay to talk about it. Apparently, the Khan family flew up to Chicago, and CM Punk has possibly signed a contract with AEW. I, I don't believe that. I believe they talked to him, but I don't think he signed. I don't. I don't think it's signed, but I think he, I, th- I think I, it's happening. I uh, wouldn't rule it out. There's yeah. something big happening after a thing in Vegas. Box with you so guys. So whether it be Omega or Punk, it's gonna be one of the two, or Goldberg. Oh, <laughs> no, no, thank you. Um, uh, WWE possibly has two new superstars on the way with Abyss and Sanjay. I think they're gonna be more behind the scenes working at. Uh, developmental NXT, but I think Abyss will yeah, that's what I see, that debut too, in sure. the Rumble. I, I, if anything, I can see Abyss that one off thing. That's one it. hell of a debut for Abyss, and then that's that. I mean, they've done that before. Do you think she people... shows up with the women's? Who do you think Sanjay shows up? Or, I mean, what? do you think uh, do, do you think uh, uh, Sanjay shows up <laughs> at all? Like maybe NXT or um, I Royale? can see him at NXT and working down there as a developmental guy, helping to bring some of the younger talent yeah. through the tough times. 
but I pr- strictly see them as more of a trainer or producer role, kind of what Matt Bloom's doing down there. Yeah. Adam Pierce, yeah. They're, I think they're going to be good. What, the what, did you, what were they trying to make a big play out of Abyss for uh, him Co- and Taker? About two years, years ago, ago yeah. they wanted him and he shot it down because TNA Abyss loyalist. owns everything to impact TNA. Yeah. His career would not be what it is without that company. And he's had one hell of a run. He's a TNA Impact Hall of Famer. I'm not saying that that one day that the WWE won't induct him, just even though he's never really worked for them. But a guy like him who's put in his time and done what he's done, even promoting the hardcore style that he did, he still put on great matches, even though it wasn't a Monsters Ball match. I've mm-hmm. seen Abyss go 35 minutes in a match and just tear the house down. Yeah. Um, this other news, it may not apply anymore, um, but New Japan superstars are actually can't come to the country because the government shut down, but then that possibly end today the government shut down it temporarily not, it did yeah, not supposed to i don't know if it's real or it if takes it's actually happening. so long to get visas uh approved and they Work applied visas. like in november mm-hmm. yeah and uh, they still didn't get them which kind of sucks for those three shows and yeah. it really sucks that they don't the go the shutdown keeps going and they don't get it for the masses for the Garden show that will be that catastrophic the big sellers you know and you if know, this continues garden. the g1 supercard of honor is definitely in an influx well, that's yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, the MSG show. Yeah. Real quick, man, as we're tuning in, I know we got some viewers here. Um, the we do have a live chat, so just comment in there, and that will come to the chat. So if you're here for anything, uh, do you want to talk? Put your sent, put you know, t- talk to us a little bit. If you're here for the tickets, let us know. Um, so the live chat is open for everybody. Uh, and then the last news is uh, Rhonda leaving. I don't see her leaving. Um, I see her taking time away. Exactly. I well, I, I read. I didn't hear she saw, she signed through 2021. Yeah. So I can see her taking time off after many seasons over. Drop the title. Coming yeah. back, doing the you know, shows here and there, and then maybe she'll leave. I don't think she'll ever leave full time though. Like yeah, I, she'll, I, she'll never be gone. Gone. No, I don't think so either. I think she'll be like like Lesnar. Well, she'll show up for a season or two, like a season or a couple months, make an appearance. She's got and to then go leave. Right now. Um, I think the biggest thing they can do for Ronda, she she had a great year. She had some great matches. She she had a you know. She did a great job. She did phenomenal. Um, what you need to do is her biggest flaw, her biggest character flaw in, in mixed martial arts, her biggest character flaw as a person is she has she does not handle loss very well. So if WWE can say, you know, Ronda lost the title and did it respectfully, I know it doesn't it's not gonna it's not gonna turn the MMA fans. Yeah. But um it can it can help her character well, a little bit. If you're getting the wrestling wins and losses yeah you got to do one or the other yeah <laughs> so, so so i think yeah. she i think she yeah. does drop a loss and i think she shows that she can take it i think she knows that you don't have to go over to get over oh that's a good line but anyway she knows it's yeah, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know that that happens it's not you know it's not us austin i know we, we kind of I forgot you're on the other line there because we got i'm not used I, to I two, totally i'm not used to the two conversations any of that news there you got anything you want to add there uh, the only thing I saw was that Sam Roberts uh, thinks that the Young Bucks are still going to show up at the Royal Rumble. I, wow. I, I listened to his podcast today, and he did. But uh, Sam Roberts, nice guy. He's like, give us a podcast, but he's a little murky. And uh, mm-hmm. yeah, he said, like, the Young Bucks come out and say that uh, their TV deals on the W Network. That ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Young Bucks just have fun with it. I I, I, I just think they're, they kind of troll, and they have fun doing that. I can honestly see them pulling an end zone, showing up in the crowd. That would be hilarious. Uh, they just show up and. Do you think they'd even get in the door? No. If they bought a ticket, they, was, they can't. They exactly refuse. Enzo them. tried to buy a ticket and they said no. Well, that's Enzo. That's a different story. <laughs> These guys walk up and they, they pay the money for a ticket. You can't exactly say, we're not letting you in. Vox, if, if, if Enzo's asking price wasn't so high, would you, would you offer him a, a spot? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think a lot of people. I think if Enzo breaking the news, show Enzo is months. not welcome at Outbreak. <laughs> I got nothing for him. I don't. I don't know. I, I would like to see him get hit with a trash can or something. Yeah, that would be fun. <laughs> put him in the. Put him against like Yams or like Ed House. Put him against a big guy. Enzo yeah, but that's rag doll. He's used get, to it. Yeah, he takes bars. I can get Ed House versus Yams. For way, way, way cheaper yes. than Enzo. <laughs> and it's going to be a much better match. So. I agree. I agree. This is true. I, I 100% agree with that. Um, so while we have Vox in the line, he wants to kind of he wants to give his as well. We'll we'll we'll, we'll, let, we'll let him go first. Yes, I was gonna say. What do you, what do you got for your five worst gimmicks of all time? We might have one. So, I think uh, we're going to have one in common. I think we will too. 
I'm hoping okay. it's so all are we going one, one for one? That's probably going to be obvious. We're, yeah, we're each going to do our five. I tried to go off the wall with mine, so we weren't going to have the same. So box will okay, go first. So... Say all five of yours, and then uh, we'll uh, we'll go from there. Yep. All right. All righty. So I actually so the first only have four. Never oh, happened, so we're going to go let Vox go first. Oh, my bad. My bad. That's I okay. can't hear Vox on my end. Oh, geez. Oh, can you? Oh, boy. That's I'm sorry. Go ahead. go ahead, Vox. You're up. <laughs> all right. Like I was saying, the first two should have never happened at all. Um, the Yeti. <laughs> that, was the Yeti. 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 Almost was. <laughs> that was just the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> right on par with the ECW zombie. That just should have <laughs> never happened. Yeah, the Yeti was an honorable mention on my list. <laughs> yeah, it just shouldn't yeah. have happened. Let's just wrap a guy in uh, dirty toilet paper and put him in the ring. And, and the best yeah, is that yeah. they changed much their both costume after that. that. Yeah. It's like a ninja. Yeah, super ninja. <laughs> yeah. Seven foot ninja. Yeah. <laughs> Ron Reyes. And then um, Mantar, who's probably you know <laughs> the, the, the heavy favorite pick. But I mean, that was a pretty good wrestler, and he just got saddled with absolute crap, and that was mm-hmm. terrible. Yeah, Mantar. Um, yeah, same with Giant Gonzalez, because I don't Ooh. care what anyone says. El Gigante was over. He was. El Gigante was the man. The, the <laughs> and then they put him in fur. <laughs> <laughs> Airbrush body it, it suit. Make make airbrush body suit. <laughs> yeah, it was like the ultimate warrior body suit, but it just had fur all over oh, it. Yeah, <laughs> it was bad news. I, I, and, I don't uh, know and how... number one, number one always, it made me stop watching WWF for years, was Thurman Sparky Plug. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I, I, I couldn't deal with it. I like, he was like, hi, folks, my name's Thurman. I was like, all right, I'm going out. My friends call me Sparky. <laughs> <laughs> But he was STP, get it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was uh, so bad. Uh, it was. Well, Vox, we we appreciate you, brother, coming on the show. Anytime you want to call in, you're more than welcome. Um, we we uh, anytime, like I said, you're 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 always welcome to come on our show and and, and do this anytime you want. All right. Thank you, fellas. Have a good show. I'll be watching on the YouTube. Awesome, man. And yeah, Vox, man. Ch- chime in with your other picks for maybe Rumble when we get to that point. All right. Thanks, cool, man. man. All right. Have a great Later night. On, and we you will too. we'll see you at the uh, at the next show. Absolutely, see you there. All right, do you want to do you want to let your brother go now since he couldn't hear all that? <laughs> uh, well, I feel bad for Austin because I didn't yeah. I wasn't aware that Austin couldn't hear any of that conversation. Yeah. So Austin, um, I uh, do you want to give us your five while you're while we got you so here? He has four. But... He has four. All right. So I went for a much more modern list because like Mantar, Zeus, those things are kind of obvious. So my not, list, my list is not is, very up. It is not very new, <laughs> and and it's also in no particular order. So first up on my list is Kazarni. Oh, okay, Ooh, that's rough. They did that's rough. They did absolutely nothing with him, and his promos were weird. And I was just uncomfortable whenever he was in the ring. Anyway, <laughs> did you see him now? His gear is no, terrible. I he, have not yet. He put on like 40 pounds oh, and his cool. head shaved. He has a big ass beard and he paints his face and wears a mask. And I don't know. He still tries to do the same thing, good. but it's crazy. I haven't seen him since the Shikara show about six years really? ago. Yeah, wow. I, I never seen the interest in him. <laughs> next. <laughs> so next up, I have Vladimir Kozlov. Oh, come on. <laughs> Kozlov. And now, Kozlov he could have been bad. Was okay. he double double E? Was that? Double yeah. double E, yeah. <laughs> they, they did. I mean, they had potential with him, and then they put him with Santino, yeah. and they won the tag titles, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. They but they just made him – he seemed like he was going to have a very dominant push, and then he turned into, like, the great Kali 2.0. <laughs> Here's a fun fact. Kozlov in Season 2 of The Punisher, when he goes to the gym and he beats up the Russians, one of them is Kozlov. All right. Yeah. Nice. He's Jack now. He looks, <laughs> yeah, he jacked, looks great. Right? Yeah. yeah. He, he went back to uh, practicing Zombo. Uh, Sambo. So, yeah, it was, he wasn't a great wrestler. And then, so next up on my list is Lord Tensai. Oh, yes. Boy. <laughs> Forgot about that one. Yes. I actually have, so, him, like, I have him on mine as well. Uh, oh, so <laughs> yeah. They brought him in, and I was just like, all right, this is odd. Like, this this is Albert. This is, this is in Lord Tensai. <laughs> we know and exactly then, who this is. And then they went on, and then he was in... Was it tons of funk with yes. Brodus Clay? Like what was Sweet that? Tea's Sweet was tea. <laughs> then he wasn't Japanese. So, it was so like he was one of the first guys to come out. Like they brought him back from Japan, 
And he had such a good rep over there. And then they bring him over, put him in his shitty ass gimmick. Yeah. As soon as he came out, crickets. No one cared from day one, and yet they still tried to push it. Well, uh, well, he did start out as a penis piercing. <laughs> <laughs> and the shave your back chance. People remember that. They're like, that's not Japanese. Yeah. That's Prince Albert. <laughs> yeah, that's Prince Albert. A train. <laughs> yeah, or A train. Yeah, he he, he should have came back as A train. He probably would have got a bigger pot. Yeah, like. yeah I agree. <laughs> yeah, the train whistle started. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I totally forgot about Lord Every, Everybody would have been like, it's Diesel. No, it's A train. <laughs> I mean, Diesel got a massive pop when he came back, but of course, everybody loved Diesel. And then he tore his quad. Yeah. yeah. What, do you, what do you know? <laughs> and your last one? The last one I have is Santina. Oh, okay. <laughs> does, Santina this, does Santina show up on the Women's World Rumble this year? No. I really hope not. This, <laughs> this is a gimmick that aged really poorly. <laughs> yeah. He's a hot daughter, though. I agree. Does he? Yeah. <laughs> We'll, and then we'll, we'll we'll give it over to we'll start at the other end there. Andy. Right. What do you got, Andy? Okay, see, I have no list. It's on my mind. It's on my mind. Grapes, Thirty Rock reference. Uh, I'm gonna start off with a team I thought Fox would pick early '90s WCW a tag team called the Ding Dongs. The Ding Dongs. They, they came out with little bells. Yep. And they rang. It was a Jim Herb idea, and they wore flesh colored jumpsuits and <laughs> dollar store luchadors. And it was kind of like a penis <laughs> joke, and no one really got it. And it was terrible. I think they had won maybe two matches. So the Ding Dongs. I. With Vox, I go with the zombie. It was originally supposed to be an alien that Paulie wanted. An alien. And Sam yeah, was going to beat up the alien because they were on sci fi. It made sense, but sci fi nixed it, so they got the zombie. <laughs> and he was terrible. I met him, Tim Arson, his name is. I think he actually died now. He did, yeah. Um, but uh, it, awful. Um, I'm going to go with the TNA for this one and pick Joker Sting. Because, I hated that oh, too. Like, oh, that was yeah. awful. Yeah, he turned into the Joker about four or five years after the movie was out. So people were like, "What are you?" Doing? Well, he yeah. he stole the crow. Might as well steal the next hot thing. <laughs> <And> it, <laughs> it, it was just, it was god awful. Um, the one that didn't happen, I think it was a blessing in disguise. Is uh, the current one, Sister Abigail, when Bray Wyatt was going to wrestle yeah. as Sister Abigail, and luckily he got hurt. And I got... kind of just wanted to see what it looked <laughs> yeah. like, though, just to see. I don't know. Ugh, I... Un- unpopular opinion. I actually think it would have been a fun thing to experiment <laughs> with. Sister Abigail versus the demon. I just don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I think it would have been something fun. I just don't understand how you just don't repackage Paige as Sister Abigail. Yeah, See, I think that was the thing. Too many people expected it to be an actual person, and then they were upset that they were right. Uh, yeah, that's yeah, like true. Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross, Cross would have been Nikki a good Cross. Would have been she was supposed fit. to be it, and then uh, Sarah Logan when she was crazy Mary Dobson. Well, yeah. After she, after she got signed, everyone's like, "Yo, she's gonna be Sister Abigail." Yeah. And then, Paige. and then and then actually, his physical sister is got into wrestling, and they're yeah. talking about her. She looks yeah. just like Bo Dallas. Yeah. She looks like Bray. Well, they all kind of look alike, but she looks more like Bo. Mm-hmm. Um, well, how many was how many was that? Three or four? That's I think you're four. four. Okay, well then my fifth one. I'm gonna go to the early '90s WWF, and his name was Alex the Pug Porto, and his gimmick was he was an amateur wrestler. It's <laughs> oh, like man. this is stupid. <laughs> I guess that was Kurt Angle's gimmick, but at least he won the Olympic gold medal. So yeah, it's like well, wow. this guy was just I was an amateur wrestler, now I'm a pro wrestler. No, right? well, I'm an amateur. amateur. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. What do you, before we jump into Tyler, just want to remind the people in the chat, if you are watching, um, if you're here for the tickets, just comment in the chat. You're here for the tickets, and we'll and we'll, we'll definitely get you in there. Uh, what do you got, Tyler? All right. So I had have them in order, but I just put them in order as I thought of them, so it's not in order of my favorite or anything. But I was just looking on uh, Instagram, and I guess he's more of a jobber, but back in the old days, the guy called The Gambler, everyone ever saw him? Yes. He'll come out with Deck of cards, Fence. shitty gimmick. Fan, with the face paint? Fan, no, no, no. That's, 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 and he yeah, actually yeah. jobbed out to Glacier. Another oh, one who could be on those. Yeah, 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 I yeah. bet you Vox knows. Well, old name. school. It was Check on Glacier off probably the list from my... Saturday night. Well, let's let's talk about it. I like Glacier. So there was the gambler. Uh, Tensai, as uh, Austin mentioned. Uh, how about the Kiss Demon? Oh, uh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I had this discussion earlier with somebody else. The Kiss Demon, the guy who was the Kiss Demon, Dale was a gr- he was a great wrestler. I wouldn't say great. He, he was good. <laughs> he was a wrestler. He was good. I wrestler. Him. I liked him, but he just got stuck with that shitty he gimmick, cool. and it was what it was. And it was Kiss. Yeah, yeah, but like, well, I think they tried to. A wrestler. They had a football yeah. team. I think they tried to push a restaurant. As Dale Torbert, which is a yeah. terrible name. They should have just had him go away for a while and come back. Can't be any worse than Crowbar. 
Hey, crowbar is not bad. I like crowbar. crowbar. <laughs> uh, how about uh, GI Bro? No, GI Bro. Did you repackage as GI Bro? What was the group? Filthy Animals? Or, or no, uh, Mis- Misfits in Action. Yeah. Chavo, <laughs> Van Hammer. Oh, Van Hammer. Sergeant Erection. <laughs> Lash <laughs> Lash <laughs> yep, Lash Major Lash Guns. Uh, the girl. Hugh Morris. Yeah, yeah, Lieutenant yeah, yeah, Loco. Rage, oh, yeah, Lieutenant Loco is Chavo. Chavo, yep. Yeah. And then for, I guess, my number one is Festus. Mm-hmm. Uh, talking about a guy that <laughs> brought him out, you know, walk him out the ring, act like there's brain dead, and then when the bell rang, he went ballistic. Which was kind of like a play, if you ever see Delirious' gimmick, where he's all serious, and then they ring the bell, you flip out. The best thing about Festus was CM Punk got him off his prescription drugs. Yeah, and then, and then he came to <laughs> so, The stupid gimmick had a good ending. And you got all right. Uh, first of all, I got an honorable mention for this one because this one was pretty bad. Oh, you was you cross one week. out, you cheater. Yeah. Talk, talk, if you, if you had one it. picked that someone else picked, just still talk about it. Yeah. Just give your, uh, Kevin Thorne. Oh, the vampire. I, I like Kevin Thorne. I, know, I didn't like Mordecai. But, Mordecai? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Like Kevin that? Thorne was actually decent. I like I like Kevin Everybody liked Ariel. Hang up, so oh, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That, that was a good one for me. But uh, my number five was, uh, it's a split here. It's Stardust. I, I kind of like Stardust. And Akeem the African. Oh, player. I love Akeem. Akeem. My God. <laughs> he found out he was that African roots. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Deepest, darkest Africa. I, lo- uh, I, I was actually going to wear my Akeem shirt. Number four as a collective group, the right to censor. Real quick, before you move on to that, Stardust, he had a title, right? He did. Tag title. Didn't yeah. him and his brother win the tag titles? Yeah, yeah they yeah. won the tag titles. Okay. Interesting. I, I like Stardust just because it, Cody showed so much range. But that character, like, and the reason I, I'm starting that. to come, uh, the, I think about it now. A buddy of mine met him, and he got some stuff signed at uh, a meet and greet. And he said the fact that it wasn't that he hated the Stardust gimmick, it, but he thought he was ready to move on and do bigger, different things with the WWE. And Vince basically told him, "No, you're Stardust. You're yeah. Stardust, and you're going to sell toys." And he wasn't doing much, really. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they had him in the same match almost every week. Oh yeah, yeah. It, it was bad. Yeah. But uh, my number four is the collective group of the right to censor. See, okay. I, I didn't mind them. Interest, How do you take two of your top... Interest music. Yeah. Yeah, just... yeah then all the music <laughs> was, was awful. That was awful. How do you take two of your top two superstars from the Attitude Era being the godfather of Val Venus, <laughs> and you just take them and flip them 180, and it's like, well, everything we did was wrong. They reformed. They, they, they reformed. The they realized right. that it wasn't cool to be best a porn star on TV. The best heels. How about I'd be wrestling in a full dress? dress yeah, yeah. that was yeah. weird. Ankles. Uh, number three, I got a split here. It's the Shockmaster. In which you can't really say that because the guy never really got a match after that. And that's he there's got, a reason for like that. Two. And <laughs> Kerwin White. Kerwin, oh, I Kerwin forgot about Kerwin White. Kerwin that, White. That lasted all of a month and then that, that and would, he died. And he died. And he died. That would never happen nowadays. Like a Mexican guy. Hey, what's your gimmick? You're a white guy. Yeah. <laughs> you come out in the golf cart and uh, with, 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 with Paul Ziegler. Yeah. As your caddy. My number two, the Repo Man. I mean, come uh, on. Let's be honest. That guy was just literally a less threatening version of the hamburger. Repo, man. How about the goon? How about how about the Repo Man who he was before he was the Repo Man? Smash, yeah. yeah. You how went, does you, that happen? You yeah. went from the greatest one of the at the time the greatest tag team stable of all time to the Repo Man. That's you can't hate the Repo Man. <laughs> I don't hate him as a person, but that was a terrible gimmick. Yeah. Uh, and of course, my number one, Sorry Rudzinski, Mantar. Yeah, Mantar. Mantar's yeah, favorite. favorite one. So, um, Boy, uh, before you go, see, Mantar actually was the first one announced for Spring Break in the Clusterfuck Battle Royal. Was he? Really? Yeah, he was the first one oh, announced. My God. Wow. So awesome. Mantor got a booking for Man- Mantar still doing it? Maybe a weekend, yeah. So, hey, let me um, say, I, I met Akeem. Uh, George's name is uh, one man gay. He's a nice guy. Just want to let you know that. I'll throw, all, guys are. I'll, throw some honor, nice guy. I'll throw out some honorable mentions that weren't brought up. Um, Oz. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Kevin Nash, before. Bastion Booger. Yes. Okay, yeah. I was on my honorable mention. Whose and gear got you see, Devin, dirty, Devin dirty. might argue that because Devin <laughs> loved Bastion Booger. Yeah. And um, the Gobbly Gooker. Oh, I was going to say Who him, really was so the Gobbly Gooker, though? Because after. Rondo the, Guerrero. Yeah. Yeah, but everybody thought it was Pete Rose after the fact because as soon well, as that, he was that, unmasked. That was kind of cool when they did that. Kate yeah. got Tombstone's the. Pete Rose to hell, and it's just like, okay. <laughs> me and Gene selling that, though. Are you trying to tell me you're the copy of a poker? <laughs> <laughs> if anyone could te- speak turkey, it's him. Um, my I my my number five is a, is a, is a three-way tie, because I think they all have their rightful place. 
Um, it's never a good idea to fake a superstar. So I will go fake Diesel, fake Razor, <laughs> fake Undertaker as all my number five. Um, my number four, I have the Repo Man. Number three almost was my number one because this 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 made me super uncomfortable when I watched TV with it. Eugene. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. That would never. No, no, that would not fly right now. That would not make no. it day one. I'm yeah, surprised it flew back then. Yeah. yeah, that was... Uh, Wow, that was tough. And like, yeah, Nick Dinsmore is an awesome wrestler. Yeah, 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 yeah. He has his own school now. He's, yeah. he's, I think he has like five or six guys that he trained. I think they're actually in the performance center. Yeah, I think he was actually he. I think he comes in and does like seminars. Yeah, at the PC. So yeah, don't ever do that gimmick. It's just, that should be his number one yeah. lesson. Eugene, um, entrance, the best was how he was abused by his uncle. Yeah, he like really make fun of him. It's like, oh my god. Eugene yeah. and the Rumble. Let's go. Yeah. Was it? Didn't they have a, a storyline there where it was like Bischoff's? legitimate child or yeah, something he, like, he's his nephew yeah, nephew he's his nephew um, <laughs> <laughs> number on, number that, two man. uh max moon okay oh, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah he that was, was from space, <laughs> space. and, and then num- the cool jet number one it's, it's hard to beat the shock master a guy who you know he, he literally it all uh, ruined by because he tripped on a he wheel. literally fell to his doom <laughs> Which, and they have that figure upside down that you can buy <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, just i think i out there Planet Stasiak. Oh, that was I actually just, I think I just looked that up today. I saw it. Planet Stasiak. Hold on one second, guys. Austin, what's your honorable mention? Uh, Heidenreich. Oh. Yeah. He's going to read you a poem. Part of the uh, yeah, so new LOD. When I was looking at some research for who other people thought their their top five gimmicks were, you know who was on there that I was kind of shocked because I thought I liked his gimmick, and I think if if I think he was in the wrong era, everyone said the boogeyman was terrible. I, I like the boogeyman. I love the boogeyman. I think the boogeyman. And he's still he, killing he looked, it. He looked great. Yeah, he's he's like fifty-seven or something. Yeah, sure yeah. I, I think he was just more misunderstood for when they brought him in at the transition right from uh, ruthless Zero. aggression to one lady to GG. which is the worst. I, I think that's the worst era of all. Time. And then run that. But if you want bad gimmicks, I could just keep spitting them out and then let him turn his mic so he can get a better thing. Um, T. L. Hopper, Emily Brothers. There you go. Yeah, um, there was a bunch of really bad ones. So let's just let's get into uh, the pay per view that I'm gonna miss and then have to watch at like probably one in the morning. Yep. Um, NXT after after uh, actually after probably, PPW. If you guys want to come over and hang out and watch it, we can do that too. I'm probably gonna miss it live as well. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm miss more, it. I'm working at beer festival. I'm tomorrow. just gonna shut my phone I, off. I, and I won't watch get it to home. watch that until maybe before the rumble, but I work Sunday, so probably not until Monday afternoon. What time do you get home Saturday night? It'll be, I'm open Archibald right above a uh, Wolf's Bear and Scranton, so I'm at like 11. But I got work the next day, so. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, we'll, wait, we'll wait for if you want to come here on your way home. Yeah, I'll go ahead and start it because I might, I might get one or two matches and I got to go to bed. So. All right. Um, I don't know the exact order, but this is what I got offline. Uh, Matt Riddle, Cash Asano. Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle's going yeah, to. It's going to be stiff. It's going to be awesome. Third um, North American title, you got Ricochet, Johnny Gargano. I think that's a show stealer. I think that's match of the weekend. Though. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. probably going to be the one that I think should be bumped back in the card, like more towards co main event than anything. Yeah, I honestly, Ricochet's I, I actually it. would, yeah, yeah. I would, I'd keep that right where it is on this lineup just because, um, just so they can show space shit. in between. Yeah. yeah. Um, NXT tag, Undisputed Era versus War Raiders. At the rate Undisputed uh, Era is going right now, the way they're kind of, Doing the little nosedive how that after they said they're gonna win all the gold. I can see War Raiders winning this match. I kinda hope they do because it opens the door for them to possibly make a men's appearance in the rumble. See, I don't I don't think they'll be in it. Um maybe one of them. Not to jump and go now, I think Alistair Black will be in it, but I I, I see War Raiders, War Machine winning this one. I, I think, probably drop it back though. I, I, I think they retain. I just I don't know. I think yeah. if they don't put the titles on the War Raiders now. Like, what was the point of bringing them in? Yeah. Yeah. It seems like a loss. I think it's going to end shitty. Like, because I think, well, obviously, the rest of Honest Media does not have a match. Yeah. The way they're talking, they might squeak one more match in there with Adam Cole and the Dream. If that happens, then maybe the Warriors. That's a good match. Yeah. Who, who, well, if Adam, if that match doesn't happen, is Adam Cole, is he in that match? Who's the two guys in the the ring? They, they do use the, uh, Freebird role then too. Yeah. So. yeah, they do. I think I think it was listed as Kyle Riley and Roderick Strong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, then you have the women's and the women's uh, championship. Uh, Sonya, I mean Shayna yeah. versus Bianca. This is tough because you think they end her uh, 
Bianca's streak yet, or they keep looking That's at Shayna Baszler looks strong. This is the, uh, this is a really big opportunity for her to 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 step up as another face for the women's division in NXT. I, I think love... if there's one title change, that would be it. Yeah. Uh, I think it's a good time to put it on Belair. Yeah. I really. It don't... also depends on what they want to do with at Mania, because if they want to do like a horsewoman thing and Shayna wants to be up for that, I don't know if she's going to have a title. That's not like a prediction or anything. Yeah. I'm just That'll thinking be, out loud. It'll be tough to get Ronda, especially if she's doing this break she's talk, that, that they're hinting at. It'll be tough to her to get go on a break as a heel. Or they can just have Baszler drop it, Belair win, and then win it again, and then be the, the first ever three-time Switch champion. Back. Yeah, I see. Keep, you see, keep, here's my theory about that. Though I see Bianca out. winning the title, and then Baszler debuts the following night in the in the Royal Rumble. And then she makes her main roster debut night or two after that. I okay. can see her in the Rumble, but maybe not go right to the main roster. Mm-hmm. Kind of like Kyrie Zayn did last. Yeah, night. yeah, and Moon. Yeah, and then you got the and I maybe I'm sounding terrible for saying this, but I'm I don't I don't know. I'm not really looking forward to it. I don't know. Every black match I've watched, I just. Sometimes they're good. It, it all depends who in the ring with, and I just I don't know chemistry wise. Champ is amazing, but Champa versus Alistair Black. I'm telling you this much, I've seen too many Champa matches now, and I have not seen a th- seen a thumb spot in WWE, and it's really starting to piss me off. I, I, I need to see a thumb spot in WWE. <laughs> not, not here. Here. It's gonna happen. Yeah. It's gotta be a takeover. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's probably not gonna happen. I I, I think uh, Champa's gonna keep it because I think yeah. Alistair Black is one of the surprise Royal Rumble entrants. Yeah, he'll and, be on the main roster. Soon, yeah. yeah, he's coming up. How about when he was rumored to be the next guy on 205? Yeah. Well, I would, I'd stop watching all together. <laughs> they're saying the same thing about Ricochet. He's just going to be another 205 yeah, guy. Well, yeah, I weigh 215. Yeah. But I, I can I see. Honestly, yeah, but... though, what they're doing with Mustafa Ali, I don't think they would do that with Ricochet. No, no, because Mustafa's killing it right now. They, they legit, they figured those guys, look at them. They plucked them off the indie scene, put them on TV out of nowhere. They didn't go to the NXT, they went right from the indies to TV. And look at him always killing it. Mm-hmm. They basically plucked him from there. And now you're a, basically you're in a main event every week now. On like, well, they made him a big deal. They gave him some backstory. Tell you he used to be a cop and stuff. Yeah. And actually had him like you know win a match. Yo, his promos are the like his promos are the best. The way the way they're filmed and how it zooms in and out, they are awesome. They've been awesome since he was in. And I mean, two hundred five when he pinned Brian, that just skyrocketed to Mustafa. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely big. big. Big well, things. he the the two when he when he had a I'm trying to remember the pay per view, but when he went against uh, Buddy in that paper uh, on on a kickoff show or whatever TLC. it was, he they they tore the they they were arguably before the women's match, they were the best match of the night. Yeah, that's when they did a Spanish fly off the announce table. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then he hit the 054 off the top rope to the floor through a table. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's they, insane. Those guys at 205 are doing big things. Um, we'll we'll, we'll jump into the rumble here. So we have. A Which is a pretty major going. So Did we get all the NXT matches? Yeah, yeah. five. Yeah. So and the we'll, interesting yeah. thing about Rumble is there's only 17 confirmed males. I thought it was 20. You always have to have some surprises. 20. Was there? Yeah, yeah. I, I will. This morning I actually counted like a. I never looked. And, so, and the uh, list I have. I looked on Instagram and they had. Four rows of five, and it's like, who do you pick in the men's Royal Rumble? Oh, see, well, when I went on this today, it was only seventeen, but I could, you know, they might have added. I have Cena, Dean Ambrose, well, Seth, Cena's Cena's injured. Injured. Cena's reportedly not going to be there. Yeah, we'll see. What, sort, yeah. yeah, Cena, Dean, Seth. Oh, that's that's they can do the whole John Cena surprise. Huh? Mm-hmm. Um, Cena, um, Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, Joe, Drew McIntyre, um, Kofi, Big E, Xavier, Apollo, Baron, Elias. Jinder, Bobby Lashley, Jeff Hardy, Almas, and then number 30 at R Truth. Yeah, which I, I think that's dumb. I think when they, when they won the mixed match challenge, they should have got 29. Because 30 should be a surprise. Yeah. yeah. Or a couple. Yeah. yeah. Not, that was that, uh, was that. It kills the surprise. I like Truth. But or like, you can see uh, Truth doing something dumb and then he like sells yeah. it or he thinks it's a different match. He or, comes out number one or something. Yeah, yeah. Like something dumb. And I mean, last yeah. year, a lot of people, including myself who was there, were extremely PO'd. Because there was no real legends returned at the Rumble. But Ray I'm okay with Ray that. Yeah, Ray, I'm all right with yeah. that. Ray looks way better now than he did before. I'm, yeah. I'm okay with no legends. Ray was the good surprise. I think there was one. Yeah, Hurricane came out. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm okay with I actually just surprise. watched that match last Saturday. 
So, so who do you? I mean, obviously you have you have a lot of guys coming off injury. You got KO coming off injury. You got yeah. Bray Wyatt coming off injury. Same you way. have Sami Zayn coming off injury. I don't see KO or Sami in the match. I see no. Kevin Owens, Bray Wyatt, one hundred percent. I see Bray Wyatt. Does, Actually, does, Kurt, does Kurt to Angle show up in the Rumble? Rumble? I think Kurt might be in it. Do you guys, to, I, to eliminate Baron Corbin to set up a match at WrestleMania. I actually, well, this morning when I checked and I saw there was 20 guys in it, I made a list of 10 guys I think that would be in it. Oh, there you go. Go ahead. So uh, I went with Abyss, and then I think Kane's going to be in it because you'll find you'll have a Kane versus Abyss stare down, and it'll be fucking awesome. Uh, Rusev, Shinsuke. I think Pete Dunn's going to be in it. You see R- Rusev and Shinsuke, even though they have a match in the kickoff yeah, show. Yeah, because you can't have a guy to... Yeah, because yeah. they're on the pre-show. Yeah. yeah. So you can't have a you can't have your guy that won it last year not be in it at all because he has the United States you right. know, yeah. title match. I think someone from 205 will be in it. I think they'll probably try to stick Miz in it, maybe. Because if they're trying to push towards Miz versus any, any sort of title, maybe he'll be in it. Someone from Sanity, Bray Wyatt, Matt Hardy, and Kurt Angle. Oh, that's good. I, I, I say two NXT guys Ricochet. for sure. Yeah, I, I would go with Tyler or Tyler Black. Who's he? Um, mm-hmm. Alistair Black <laughs> and I, maybe the Dream. I oh, know. I would love the Dream to be in. Yeah. Yeah. And I, then I have a feeling it's going to be Ricochet. I think they're, Ricochet and Kofi might go one for one on best save of the night. Yeah, that could be. I, I think that. The, or you throw you throw Ricochet and Mustafa Ali, and they have like a triple save. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. So when I, when I said a guy from. 205, I have him facing off against Ali. So, like, that was in my mind. So, they're yeah. setting up all these different face offs. Probably one guy from NXT UK and then one girl from NXT UK. Yeah, cool I, I, can, I can see the Miz not being in it, maybe. But, but I would say not the champions because it kind of hurts if the champions. It, mean, it doesn't really, but like, if the champions in the Rumble and they lose. So how, then I like, could honestly see Jordan Devlin being in. Since okay, he just had yeah. that match with Finn, there was a good showcase there. That's true. I would like Walter, but that's not going to happen. No, Walter hasn't oh, even wow. debuted yet. Yeah. That'd be massive, but I don't um, see it. So then, the women's then, side, the women's side, we have, from what I have, I could be wrong again, um, 22 confirmed. Um, Moon, Natalia, Banks, Bailey, Ruby, Sarah, Liv, Rose DeVille, Alicia, Selena, Flair, Naomi, Tabina, Peyton, Billy Kay, um, Dana Brooke, Lana, which I don't see that because there are rumors that she's possibly pregnant. Naya, Nikki Cross, and number 30, Carmella. Uh, probably one or two old girls will be come out. Old girls, Trish like Stratus again. They'll probably bring back Trish, Lita. Lita. Yeah. Uh, I, I would say probably, Tony Storm. probably the Bella Twins. I would, say, I would love to Tony see Tony Storm. Storm. So she won the title, so I'd say Ray Ripley and maybe well, – I'd like to see Tony Storm. I'd like to see Shayna Blazer yeah. just, the, just in the Rumble. Or I think I, – I think they pick a non-title girl, so maybe uh, – well, well almost, almost, almost was a champion, almost was a champion and showed up for the Rumble. Was he the champion? I, wasn't I think cha- Dakota yeah. Kai would have been in. But yeah. Almost, yeah. Got hurt. When Almas showed up with the Rumble, he was still champ, correct? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. That may be. No, 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 no. Oh, oh last year, last year, yeah. yeah. Almost was the – he uh, retained yeah, his title the night before. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, so maybe. Lacey's actually confirmed for it then, too. Yeah, Lacey's in, so – no, okay, we, cool. we didn't say who, who or do you want to go through the matches and say who wins that? No, we can do Rumble now. Hang on, because hang on, before we get ahead of ourselves, we still have our little side bet here. Okay. Uh, gentleman's bet, $1 a piece. <laughs> how many debuts? How many returns? Oh, how geez. many legends? So a dollar each, each Rumble. So $2 bet. Wait. How many debuts? How many returns? How many legends? So I'll say debut. I'll do... For the men's? For the men's, I'll do... How many overall debuts, Rumble debuts, not total debuts? You know what? I'll go crazy. So if Ricochet came out, that would count. That as, counts. As a Rumble debut. I'll say two. I'll say actually. I'll say yeah. I'll say two. Two. Two number and and, and and do I have to say who they who they, who they, they are? Nope. Just who do you got for the women? That's a good idea. How many debuts for the women? Women's. I'll say. I would go a little higher. Four. Four. Yeah. All right, uh, Tyler. All right, for the men, I'm doing two. Two. One from NXT and then Abyss. Uh, for the women, I'm going to F it. Two. Yep. Andy? Debuts? Uh, yeah, I, I was going to go two. And then I was going to go two across the board, returns and legends, all for the men. All right. Two, two, and two. And for the women? Uh, I'm going to go a little higher. I'm going to say five debuts. Five women, debuts. Yeah. Because a- any NXT girl, and it would be Lacey Evans would count, right? Right. So, yeah, so Lacey, uh, what's her, Bianca? Maybe the uh, I don't think they're ready, but maybe she returns. Can. Lacey counts, and I'm, I'm doing mine for three. women's returns. returns if, she, if she counts, I'm gonna limit that to just uh, just two, two, 
and Legends. One. One. Yeah. <laughs> Ivory. No, Victoria. Victoria. <laughs> that, for, that'd be nice. So what? what's the next bracket here? Returns. Returns? See, for that, I, I say Kevin Owens and Bray. I'm doing, I'll say, I'm doing three for the return. I'll say three, three as well for men. For men. I think I'm only going to throw out one for return. Well, and... Austin, you're in on this too, so you'll get your yeah. opportunity. I got gotcha. you. <laughs> We got Ben on the list over here as well. Oh, oh okay. For, um, and then returns for the women. Yeah, oh, that's tough though. Like, it's tough because you got to remember most of the women are healthy. Yeah. yeah, and they have to. Would you consider Kelly Kelly you're in the match? Who? Kelly Kelly, she was in last year. She no, she's no. starting to return. Okay, so you got to eliminate all the. She considered a legend. She'd be a legend. Now, <laughs> women, women return. Um, so if AJ Lee. Was that to, that'd be more of a legend yeah. return. I'll okay. say zero. zero. Yeah, yeah, I say zero for returns. I don't see anybody coming back. Legends, men um, and women. I'll say. I say two. Two. Two for the men and two for the women. Legends, I'll do. Yeah, two and two. Two and two. You know what would have been great, but a Yankee Legends. Show. Yep. I'm doing one for men, two for women. Sweet. I still think I'm holding out hope. I think if there's anyone on the planet who could pull it off, I think break the walls down. Music hits at like <laughs> Rumble. No. No way. <laughs> All right, awesome. Jericho, do it. How many days do you got God. for the men? All right, debuts for the men. I'm, hmm, I'm gonna say two, two, solid two. A lot of twos across the board for the men. I debuts. think, I think debut. You're gonna see Alistair Black at number two, Ooh. and then maybe because there's been a theme in the past two Rumbles with the, the, the Iron Man last numbers. Philly one, Adam Cole, and then the Greatest Royal Rumble, Roderick Strong. So maybe we see another undisputed era member for the women. Um. Uh, I'm going to say three. What do you got for returns for the men? Returns for the men, I'm going to limit it to two. I think Jason Jordan Ooh. and then maybe Ooh. maybe a KO Ooh. or Sami Zayn. And for the women? That's a, that's okay. a legend. That's a legend. I was going to say he's one. Yeah. That'd be awesome. Come back. Um... Returns for women, I'm going to stick to one. Then your men's and women's legends. Legends, I'm going to stick with one for the men's, and then I'm going to say three for the women. There are a lot of extra spaces in the women's, so it's way out there. W what does Kane count as? Legend. Kane will more well, or less he's be still active. He's active roster. He's still active roster. Oh, he's okay. a return. So, yeah, I totally forget. Ben, what, what do you got? Okay, you got to rattle them off again. All right. So All right. Got to be quick. Men's debuts, men's debuts. Okay, so for the men, I'm going to go rogue and go with three. Three debuts. Nice. Wow. That's and for the women's, I'll Not too rogue, and they went one higher than everybody three. else. Three? Yeah, I'm going to be the guy from The Price is Right. Yeah. <laughs> $1,001. <laughs> All right, uh, men's and women's returns. Okay. I would go maybe... Hey Austin, we while while Ben's talking here, ben. um, are you coming home this weekend? And maybe I I don't really keep up with the wrestling too much. Austin, I'll oh, be um, safe with, I, with the women. I don't think so. I think I'm gonna yeah, stay until like this weekend. I don't know if you see me right now, but I'm thumbs down on you. <laughs> It'd just be tough. Yeah, I understand. And maybe three for the women. Three legends. He's almost threes across the board, except for the men's. So what do you got there? All right. Uh, here's my theory about it. I think we're going to see. Yo, yeah, that's a very good possibility. But I see four men's debuts. There's a lot of spots there. And wow. you, you wow. figure the NXT guys are probably going to get a spotlight. I was going to go high, too, because I, I think they're going to throw heavy machinery in there. Yep. Well, if you say two NXT I mean, I'm guys... praying for Dozy to win, and I want to see Dozy hit that ring, yeah. do what he does. Yes. Hit the, arm, hit the elbow. and <laughs> Uh, to face for, the Daniel women, Bryan. for the women, I'm going to go with three because I do believe Shayna Baszler and, and you'll see either Kyrie Sane or Io Shirai and then whoever else they decide to debut that day. Maybe a Dakota Kai. Maybe she's, she's, she's ACL. Yeah, she doesn't have a leg. Oh. <laughs> no team uh, kick Tony for her. Storm. Tony Storm. I would love to see Tony Storm. Uh, my returns, I'm going to go with two because as much as I don't see KO, I see Kane and Sami Zayn. Because Kane is one of the, like the big dogs in the yeah. rumble, he can't have really have a rumble without him. See, I, I heard Zayn was way further off than 
Yeah, KO he's, coming he's back. He's not coming back like after yeah, way after yeah, May. Like May. And uh, women's returns, I'm going to go with a big old goose egg because I think the women's rumble is pretty well locked up. Is that what up. I said? Yep. All right, good. And <laughs> then uh, for the Victoria? men's legends, I'm going to go with one because last year they didn't really play to the legends like the rumble normally does, and there was only two last year. I, and I think it's good. I mean, I think you have enough superstars on your roster. You don't need to always rely on a That's legend. That's my theory for this year. One or two is fine. And then yeah, I'm yeah, going to yeah. go with three women's legends because – Last year, the women's rumble had what close to seven? 15. Oh, like, yeah, it was almost non, half, half the yeah. freaking rumble because yeah. they didn't have anyone up yet. Tori will, oh, Stacy Keeler. I want to see Stacy Keeler this year. That'd be, yeah, uh, I, I'd improve those legs. But, uh, gentlemen, we have our bets in one dollar piece for the rumble. I will hold on to this. Okay, you know who would be just Ty Dillinger count as a return? <laughs> yeah, did he ever is leave? He? I think so. He actually cut it, his hair down, too. Is it a return if you just haven't been disappeared? From the <laughs> yeah. Oh, here, I, I wasn't going to talk about Raw or SmackDown, but was, did it make you feel good because you're wearing the shirt that you've you seen your buddy come out? Oh, and, absolutely. And, yeah, well, I was there for in Texas for WrestleMania 32, and when he won the IC title in the ladder match, it was awesome. And the place, besides Stone Cold that night, Ryder had the biggest pop of the night. Wow. Um, the only other thing I want to talk about real quick well, before we go to the, the thing about the about SmackDown, um, I think they had a huge missed opportunity as as the uh, couch booker that I like to make myself. Um, I go, who am I? Um, <laughs> but you're doing this whole thing now. Where you're you're trying to make Becky Lynch the man, and you're kind of rumoring that you know you want her to be like the next female Stone Cold Steve Austin. <laughs> when Oscar's in your face screaming, she should have just smashed yeah, her. Smashed her yeah. like. I just want to say get back. We didn't pick uh, winners for the Royal Rumble. Oh, we, we'll get there. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay. So never mind. Um, Keep going. Otis yeah. And then the only thing that it confused me about that is you have Becky as the heel, the face heel, and Oscar as the face, the antihero, and Oscar is the one who attacked her and then got smushed. I don't think they know what they're doing. Like it was weird. There is no clear defined face and heel. It was yeah. weird. It was really strange. Um. So but, before we get onto the matches, oh, um, who do you want for your winners for the men? How about did you see uh Andrade power Bob and Ray standing on the, the yeah. second rope and then mm-hmm. Ray goes to Rana and then he picks him up and stands up with his the third rope? That is so insane. I couldn't imagine doing that. Another rumor the for the rumble. Strength. Yes. Another rumor for the rumble is that they were gonna have Becky Lynch come in the men's Yeah, it oh. the men's, which is a, it's a, it's a creative idea, but I don't see yeah. that. Doesn't that go against their whole Who would she eliminate? <laughs> Dean? Yeah. Uh that'd be James Ellsworth. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think, no, honestly, I don't think Ellsworth. What, what if like she like helped eliminate like a big guy? Like, yeah, it would have to be like she comes out of. Becky eliminates the big show. And, yeah, like, like she eliminated a guy like John. Cena. I can see that's the reason yeah, why the R Truth is number thirty. She throws John Cena out. It's the men's real rumble. And he's like, you're man. <laughs> yeah, it's and Becky's in. It's I'm true. the man. Yeah. What if our truth goes to come out and and Becky just hits him from behind him and takes his spot? I can see that. WrestleMania <laughs> all over again. And that's the way Axel she gets to the. That's why Santina. She wins the men's rumble. Yeah, that's, that's, title that's why shot. Santina <laughs> should happen. Um, anyway, uh, men's men's picks. Austin, who do you got? Okay, men's pick. Oh wow, saving the best for first on this one because this one's very out there. Uh, I'm going to pick Jeff Hardy. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Left field. All right. So, so yep. Because uh, Seth Rollins, too obvious. D, uh, Drew McIntyre, too obvious. I'm going to stick with Jeff Hardy on this one. So here's how I think it would go down. So I think the final three would be Orton, Seth Rollins, and Jeff Hardy. Orton, and all, all three of those have history with each other. Not necessarily Jeff and Seth, but all three of them have feuds with each other. So... Orton eliminates Seth, and the crowd is probably a little angered. And then you have a nice little, like, 2008 showdown between Jeff Hardy and Randy Orton. Jeff Hardy wins. Uh, crowd, I-, I think the crowd would pop for it. And then as you're doing the promos down the line towards Mania, the you demon have the enigma, enigma, enigma. You have the new Daniel Bryan say how, basically like the, the punk Jeff Hardy feud. Daniel Bryan just kind of cuts into his lifestyle. And finally, Jeff Hardy has enough, and he says, no more words. We're just going to fight. At Mania, he comes out to no more words. Everyone has been wanting that for a while. Yeah. And then from there, Get you this can do anything. Jump. Daniel, Daniel <laughs> could win, and that's the pretty much expected outcome. Or if you have Jeff Hardy win, this sets up opportunities for guys like Shinsuke and Andrade to beat Jeff for the title. Yeah. 
Um, that's I'm a, actually a, I'm a, a huge field pick. Yeah, I'm a <laughs> huge fan of this new like Captain Planet Daniel Bryant. Like like he's kind of like playing into this this generation and using it as like a heel thing, which is which is pretty fucking genius. I, mean, like, I enjoy it. I didn't yeah. want to turn heel, but now he's doing a good job. Like so. he's like I'm vegan. Like he instead of being like that guy, like oh excuse me, uh, he's like I'm fucking vegan. Like, he's like <laughs> he's in your face about Did you guys it. Like, notice when him and uh, AJ fought in the food court. AJ actually threw a hot dog at him. Yeah. That's the goal. Yeah. yeah. Mustard yeah. everywhere. Um, who you got for the women? For the women's, I know you're going to be a fan of this one, Anthony, but I'm going to stick with Ember Moon. Yeah, and I really want to see Ember versus Asuka. Yeah, I want that as well. Ember it does need a rematch against her. That's that's one thing. I, I, I think I think it was very telling in the last Royal Rumble when, when Moon threw out Asuka and she finally, like, just the way she sold it was brilliant. Like, if you want to talk about just a facial expression that if you're if you've been watching that rivalry for a while and she threw she threw um Asuka out and she kind of looked at herself like, Oh my god, I finally got the better of Asuka. Like she's been tort like that's been something that tortured my career for so long. And I would love to see Oscar versus Oscar versus Moon at Mania, and Moon and Moon wins a championship. I just thought of something for the NXT side. So this is another very left field idea, but technically in WWE, the Gargano Champa series is tied. So they have the three where on NXT where Champa is ahead, but they also wrestled in the Cruiserweight Classic where Gargano went over. So I believe they're tied. So. Gargano beats Ricochet, and then the Mania takeover would be Gargano versus Chippa winner champ takes champ. all belts. Champ, champ. I call champ, that. Champ. I call that back in like October. Yeah. Yep. Right. That would be sweet. Because like, there's a reason why Johnny's like kind of heelish now. Like he's just trying to get close to him, so he puts his guard down, and he's gonna stab him in the back. I could see him winning the title. Like, they both having titles, and they both are tag titles, and then they they finally turn. Yep. Yeah. And what are the odds um, though that uh, Ricochet would they be on the main roster for the following? Uh, zero. <laughs> zero. What do you got? What do you got, Andy, for uh, for your picks for men? I'll give you my final four and the pick. So uh, for the men. The final four will be Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, Drew McIntyre, and Braun Strowman. No SmackDown guys at all, and Seth Rollins. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take the safe bet there. And women's? For the women's, the final four will be Charlotte, Becky, maybe Ember, and then Nia Jax, because I like to use her. And then, uh, that, that Becky Lynch, Nia Jax face-off has to happen in yeah, the Rumble. Yeah, and uh, Becky wins. All right. Um uh, so for the men, I'll do my safe and then my guard course. I got Rollins and then I got Joe. Uh, Joe's just look awesome lately. And Joe versus Brian, even though it's not a clear face versus heel, I think it sounds awesome. Uh, for the women, I see Charlotte and then Dark Horse Becky. Vox, while, while if you're still in the chat, we'll, we'll get to you. If you put in the chat your uh, your picks, I would like to hear that as well. Uh, what do you got, huh? Uh Lately, it's so unpredictable. Like I think um, this rumble is too predictable. That's why I'm afraid. That's, that's, that's why I'm fun. afraid of it. But you never know, you know. It's, sometimes they, sh- they the shock prizes. the world, yeah, and sometimes kind of I don't want. I want this rumble to kind of be more like uh, Taker losing at WrestleMania to Brock, like that dude's face. I want this rumble <laughs> to be like that. But uh, I can, nervous. I, I, Zack Ryder. I can see uh, <laughs> Ember Moon. I, I like Ember Moon. I can see Ember Moon winning. Uh, Dark Horse for the women's would end up being Carmella. Ooh. Carmella. Carmella. I accept that. She's number thirty. I yeah. love. I love. I, mean, I love Carmella. Wayne. I just think that I'm high on Carmella. I think she's a great. She's just good. I like her. Everything about her. Yeah. Not, not the greatest wrestler, but I just think I as a person say, and yeah, yeah. ring not so good. Her, yeah. She does a much better move. Yeah. I love. I love. Her, I love. I love the leg wrap finish though. I oh, do. that is pretty. I'd cool. love yeah. to be in that. Code America. of Silence. <laughs> yeah. And for the guys, I mean, I love. The heavy machinery gimmick. I love Otis Dozovich, but of course we all know you're not going to walk in the Rumble day one and win. As a tag team no. member, yeah. no, yeah. no way. It would be crazy. I mean, <laughs> I'd love to see him get in the ring, do his thing, go crazy, and put it out there. But it'd be funny if he came in, burr, 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 and just <laughs> jog, yeah. he came in, he came in, like yeah, bukaki, whatever he says, and then he does his his worm, he does his worm, <laughs> and, then, and then just jumps out of the ring and just kind of like like he just walks in and, like and walks Walkers. out, like he he just no one even touches him, he just literally <laughs> and everyone just looks at him and he just walks over the top rope and just like walks back out. I think it'd be it'd be a waste, but it'd be funny. Um, my men's pick, I'm gonna go with. 
they're going to have to go with Seth Rollins. I mean, they're probably going to play it safe this year just because of how the matches are playing out. And for my dark horse pick, I'm going to go with. It's a nice pen, Ben. <laughs> I'm probably going to go with Jeff Hardy. Oh, Ooh. yeah. Hey, he he had influence. He bit, I thought you were going to be like. Uh, he bit. You made a bite. I mean, Jeff Chad Hardy. Riddle. I think this is the one thing Jeff Hardy Carlo has Cruz not won. This. I think the Except Royal Rumble is the, the one bank. thing Jeff Hardy would throughout all of his years never really got a push in was the Royal Rumble. Yeah, I agree. Um, I also think that Seth is too safe of a bet. I, especially if there's like a return of any sort. I think people might, just because WWE fans are fickle, I think people are going to be <laughs> a little upset fans. if Seth wins, just because. I mean, if Kevin Owens makes his comeback, then obviously Kevin Owens has to be a favorite because exactly. WWE already knows that they can just slap a title on him and be like, here, take this for six months and I do think, something with I it. I think Kevin Owens goes after that IC title because that's where he, he got hurt by Lashley. He goes for that IC. Well, you do the classic whoever eliminates him. That's what he shoots for. Yeah. He yeah. yeah. doesn't have to win it. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, Kevin Owens with any title on him is is absolutely. I'm all for that all day long. Um, but yeah, my my woman's pick. I'm gonna go. I mean, Amber Moon. I want that Amber Moon Oscar match. The um, yeah, I would. I honestly, I, I hope. I know with the tag team women's coming up, I I just, I'd love to see. Ba- uh, even though I'm not a big Banks fan, but I'd love to see Banks Bailey again. Um, if if I had another pick that I would go for the women's, um, I'd say Charlotte. Only because you know, I, I still I'm still holding hope out they're gonna find a way to do it and it's gonna be a triple threat with Rhonda Rhonda that's where it's going anyway. Rhonda Charlotte no Rhonda what. Charlotte Becky. I I don't think there's any other way you book it. I don't know how you're gonna write it in the story, but it has to happen. Um Ember, so if, if if Ember Moon doesn't win, um I'd piss the fans off and give it to Nia Jax. Oh, I hate oh, oh, I'd so it. much. I'd piss the fans You're off. You're pissing off everybody in the chat piss, right now. I'd piss the fans <laughs> off and do it. Just be, and it would just be awesome heel heat. <laughs> I'm hanging up. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. I would just, I would, I'd, 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 or even, I would even do like a. If honestly, you want to, you want a crazy one. You, you're gonna do your Jeff Hardy crazy booking. Bez, uh Shayna enters the Rumble. Shayna Baszler oh, win. wins it <laughs> and says, "Ronda, you've been having all this hype, and the only reason you're into wrestling is because of me." Yeah, yeah that's, and that's true. And, it's, she and, and, and she goes, "Ronda versus Bay," and no, because everyone's gonna want. Everyone thinks it's gonna be Becky Ronda, and they just and they completely shock us. They swear that, us. That would not be the main event, though. But here's no. here, here's a fun one. Who do you, who do you want to win? Who the uh, women's? Yeah, both. Yeah, just say who would you want. Well, Amber Moon is my pick, yeah. um, and then for the men's. I mean, I, I, I don't think I don't I don't think there's a plan a person on the planet doesn't think Seth Rollins is winning, but I would I would like to see um I'm trying to think of a good matchup that would be uh, interesting. Everybody in the right because they could right choose now either I'm always strong. going either SmackDown team. side. Yeah, no. that's where all the better workers are. If, if you were booking it, who would you? That's, I, I would just go Joe, Joe I'm try- versus Brian. Yeah, I'm trying or, to find that that that. AJ guy. loses, AJ wins. I would love it, but uh, they will never give it to I would 100% have Becky they? win. I would have her loser match. And, uh, and my friend came up with an idea. Oscar puts an Oscar lock, and Becky can't get the rope, and she just passes out. She never gives up. She just passes out. Like yeah. a Stone Cold move. Yeah, and then she gets in the rumble, and she wins the rumble. Yeah. I mean, he's wearing the t shirt. Yeah. not even I, was, I, was, I, have, I have a Bailey shirt. I would love, I would love, I would love <laughs> Rusev to win. Honestly, I I, I'd, love K, I'd love Kevin Owens to come back and win it. Or uh, even like a Bray Wyatt, but it just it I just it's gonna be for, Seth. For men's, it's weird. I don't really, I don't really care who wins the men's win, one. Really, it's gonna be Seth. Yeah, if I had to, if I was booking, I'd probably have Drew win, and then have Drew versus Brock to set up a different match. Yeah, I see. So, I just so does that mean Finn, Finn is definitely losing? Not for me. I have Finn winning that. I match. have Finn winning it. Yeah, too. I, I have Finn. I think Finn wins. Well, uh, we all had this Finn. little discussion last cast. What are the odds that they do like the demon wins and then the demon like bo- invokes his right to keep the t- the title off TV? That'd be and then hilarious. he can only come back as the demon. The title. Like, they're like, they're like, like you see him come out with no title around his waist. He's like, oh, I won the title. Yeah, I, 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 listen, <laughs> I don't have. I, I'd love to bring it out. I don't have it. He has it. The, de- the demon has it. I don't know <laughs> where. No, I don't know where he's at. I don't know how to find him. <laughs> I love it. I, I mean, would... I physically like to bring this out, but I don't know where it is. No idea. It's in hell. Go find it. I don't know. It's in hell with Kane. <laughs> Kane's like, I brought it back. Um, 
Yeah. Paul Bearer. So oh, we uh, no. let's let's, uh, let's go. <laughs> we'll, we'll start with Brock Finn. Um, I have Finn winning it. Yeah. I think Finn. it's the way to do it. I, I think you get Bro- let's get Brock out of there. Put the you title back get on the TV. Title back on TV. See, I see Brock keeps it to WrestleMania and then he drops it to Seth. Oh. I'm gonna keep that, up with my Finn plan, yeah. yeah. And then do Finn Seth just through booking. Here's a, a much all right, better match. match. All right, here you go. I got a I got a winner. I got a winner for the men's. It probably won't happen, but it, here's my winner. Roman Reigns. I was gonna put in my hundred percent chance that people are not showing up in the rumble, Roman Reigns and Kenny Omega. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Roman Reigns. I think comes people up. will stop collectively watching pro wrestling yeah, if Roman. that happens. If, if he comes out at number twenty nine ahead of our truth. That place is gonna burn to the well, ground. It, it's, it's Philly first, again. But they'd be like, oh, I, I honestly, I think if he comes out, I don't think he gets booed. Yeah, not first. No, no. But if he wins, then like, eh, yeah, I'm not sure like what we're again. supposed to do. I mean, between all of us, would it be a feel good moment if they actually put our truth over to win the Royal Rumble? <laughs> it'd, be it'd be amazing. Be oh, I would love it. Moment. It'd be amazing. Yeah, I mean, the guys really worked his ass off, and now you're going to give us Col- a How about if Kofi Kingston wins it and <laughs> finally gets his, his, his uh, grand he needs slam? It. He needs it. He gets the New Day people. Yeah. Um, yeah, the new new day just does everything in their power to they make keep sure him in, yeah, yeah. They keep them in. Um, <laughs> Pancake power for the win. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, AJ power versus booty. Brian. Brian. Yeah, I, I say Brian keeps it because uh, I, he's on a roll. I and, think, and AJ didn't resign yet, so um, until he does, I, I think it'd be a, it'd be a good bargaining well. chip. Double yeah. disqualification. I, I don't think anyone goes over clean. I I think that match will be an end up in like a disqualification somewhere because. I think they're gonna try and maybe set that up for WrestleMania to make it even bigger. Yeah, I would. I just. I think people get sick of it by then. Yeah, I. I you can't book it again. I love AJ. I, I hope he wins the title again, but I just think right now Daniel Bryan is just fresh, and AJ's had it for so long. Um, real quick, by ball back to Finn. Does he come out as demon? Yes. No. Yes. No. So we got. Well, we got two yeses or three yeses and two noes. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, wins. Um, Ronda, Ronda versus Banks. Uh, I hate everything about this match only because, to me, Banks, every Banks match is hers. She gets squashed for, for, for 45 minutes. She hits up three roll up pins and then hits her finisher and wins. It just, I just don't, I don't know how you book a match that she looks like she can even get over one run. I wish this was booked as a death match because <laughs> you know these two are just going to hurt each other. It always looks um, like, but Sasha just, gets really hurt. Yeah. yeah. She gets thrown around. It's like, ooh. I just, well, I just don't this see. This would be I, Sasha's what fifth or sixth title reign if she wins. Yeah, I don't they see were it. Sixth, right? I don't yeah. see it. I don't see it happening. I just, I don't, yeah. I just can't see a world where you like a Bl- Alexa. I mean, uh, yeah, Alexa Bliss looks so dominant. Actually, she's in the Rumble too. We didn't yeah. even think she's about her. She's no bigger than Sasha. She but oh, I just, but I she got, she that. got smushed by Ronda. Mm-hmm. Now you're gonna just because Banks is a six-time champion. Like realistically, Ronda kills her. I mean, but you had the same thing. With with Brock and Finn, yeah. but I mean I don't know. I what, Brock, what if Bailey the costs her the title? Like, I would what love if Bailey that. But I think and then I, that sets up Bailey Sasha. And but I think they're going to put tag team titles on them. Yeah, yeah. they're not going to ruin that. Yeah. Um, Oscar versus Becky. I think. I mean, Oscar, I think we're all Oscar. agreeing that Oscar keeps yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. That, that's the best decision, I think. Yeah. That's the safe move for them right now. If if Oscar it wins it. Then almost guaranteed Becky wins the Rumble. Yeah, but if if Oscar wins, if Becky does not come out in the Rumble, that place is just gonna <laughs> shit on everything yep. that happens. Yep. Unless she comes out, unless she comes, out, she comes out as the man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, the Bar versus Shane and 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 uh, Shane and Miz. Shane and Miz. Shane and Miz. Shane and I, yeah, Miz. That, I agree. Well, that's like the match uh, the whole weekend. That's the one I care the least about. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, it it's I don't like it, but they're probably gonna win it. Rusev versus Nakamura Rusev. on the kickoff show. See, that's a shame because I think that match has def- definitely has the quality to be on the pay-per-view. They're not going to get any time. Best, yeah. One of the better storylines, yeah. too. Yeah. Um, Usa keeps it because Nakamura, again, he didn't resign yet, so I think they're going to just kind of keep him cool down yeah. until yeah. he decides. What he's I'd agree, do. Rusev, with the keeps. Um, now, this is interesting. The it's a, the, the kickoff show 205 is a, is, a, is a four-way match. Another match that got shafted. Yeah, that match show. should be the first match on the goddamn paper. Totally that's, agree. That's gonna be it. They're gonna steal it. I in. could go anyway, but I think Buddy keeps it. Yeah, yeah Buddy I think Murphy keeps Who's it. But it? Buddy, Tommy, Buddy I Murphy. Murphy. Honestly, I don't think Buddy Murphy keeps yeah. it, and I think they move him to main roster. That's what I said. I think a Tommy wins. Match? Yeah, uh, Kalisto and uh, Tommy, Tommy and, and Tazawa. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, Hideo Itami's ready for his time of shot. I mean, he's been in oh, NXT for over three though. years now. Oh, yeah. He finally got his bump up. It's time Good to let Mania the match. Uh, you could do Itami versus Kushida. Oh, yeah. Kenta yeah. and Kushida? Absolutely. Yeah. 
Um, GTS and then the last race. thing we're going to end with here, um, we'll start with Asa once again. What's your favorite Royal Rumble memory? Oh, my favorite Royal Rumble memory. Wow. Um, hmm. All right, so I have two. Uh, one is kind of a, a generic one, but John Cena's return, even though I wasn't a big John Cena guy, oh, yeah. but like when he, he his music me. hit at number 30, I, I can't lie. That was awesome. But um, Jericho at number two. And then he almost went the distance. Yeah. He went like 45 minutes. That That's a good one for me. Yeah. Andy? Uh, I'm the old school. I have two, too. Uh, the old school. Well, when uh, I forget which one it was, but when Hogan and Warrior are cleaning the house and they finally bump backs and turn around look at each other, it's like, oh my god, Hogan and Warrior are gonna clash at WrestleMania six. <laughs> so that, and then when uh, Lex and Brett went over at the same time, the same time. They they're saying like, oh, that the, the only co-champions ever of the world. Yeah, yeah. And then they kind of had. Uh, here you go. They're saying they that could happen go. this year with Charlotte and Becky. With Charlotte and Becky. Yeah, that yeah. so I, it sets I, up, I could see so that. it sets up the triple threat. But then, they that happened when in oh. Four oh five with John Cena and Batista, yeah. and then it's in the after the Batista match. The after that math of that is one of my favorite. When 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 with Vince, Vince uh, tore his quad. Tore squad. Tore both, <laughs> both of his quads. He tore them both, I think, didn't he? Yeah, I think. Yeah, he just sat there. <laughs> Imagine her Stephanie. He didn't even win some pain. He's like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, Stephanie, there Stephanie hands, comes out and rips both their quads. What happened? Here's oh, what Steph in the rumble. Steph in the women's in the rumble. rumble. Oh, Does Triple oh. H come in the rumble? Linda? No. No. I'm just saying he's he still rehab. <laughs> now no, the, only, the only rumor I'm hearing is that supposedly they're gonna try to set up a Braun Strowman yeah, Triple H. Triple yeah, H. but I think Tripp still can't he can't even be like in the room. What about yet. Batista? Oh, Batista. No, I, I, Batista. I hope he's not. But this, this, God, this no. is going to be the year of triple threats. Every match is going to be <laughs> yeah, a triple, triple threat. threat. Yeah. yeah. Um, who do you got? Favorite, our favorite memory? Uh, this is real tough. Uh, probably, as far as the endings go, probably Chris Benoit. I'm a Benoit guy. Uh, <laughs> one of my favorite moments is when Snitsky clotheslined Paul London and knocked him out. And he did a backflip and landed on that. I forgot all about that. Yeah, so, I remember yeah, that. That's one of my favorite things. <laughs> wow, hey, dude, you whatever your favorite thing is. <laughs> that reminds me of when uh, Bradshaw, I think, threw out Taka and he broke his arm coming down. Oh, yeah. That's like 99 or 98. Yeah, that's disgusting. Uh, I got two. I have Rey Mysterio going from number one, going the distance. And then, uh, believe it or not, guy that we're going to go see Saturday, John Morrison, basically getting lawn darted out of the ring and just grabbing the barricade. And just monkeying his way across the barricade until he got back in the ring. Dude, so like, oh, by the way, I do have a good idea for the Kofi spot. What if they see him falling out of the ring, like tumbling out? They take the pancake tray and throw the pancakes on the ground. He lands on the pancakes. Did he do it last year? Yeah, they did that last year. Yeah, they last year. <laughs> well, they said, they said this year. I don't know if you guys saw the uh, field, the stadium made a burger just, just for the pay per view. They said to bring that out because it's like this tall. Oh and then, and then like there's a tray of burgers, <laughs> and they falls on the burgers and just keep on it. And they pick up the tray and they carry them over. They bring out baseball. They bring out baseball, um, like bases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that's awesome. And um, you know, I still like my theory for this. I'd love to see the rumble match, being in a baseball field. Have them come out of the dugout. Right? Uh, the bullpen. Bullpen. bullpen would come, be amazing. Come right out of that's the bullpen, awesome. like hit their music. The bullpen door opens, and they like start out. They like stretch for a second, and then they start sprinting to like towards where the mound would be, where the ring is. I I would I, honestly I would the bullpen would be cool, but I think the dugout would be cooler only because I don't want a super long ramp. I just think I think I I'm a you fan. Might, might not WrestleMania. One. I'm a fan of the. I show. love the wrong ramps for Mania, not necessarily for the Rumble. Yeah. Um, my my favorite moment is a twofer, and I don't care. You guys can hate on me if you want. Is when Sean not only went one to thirty, and then won, but then when he, he went, th- then when he goes the next year and was he was the first back to back. Cheated to win. A win's a win, baby. HBK. <laughs> <laughs> and Austin won it the two years after that, and he almost won a third time. Yeah, and then that's when Vince threw Who him out. Who has won the most rumbles? Steve Austin. Yeah, Steve Austin. Austin right? yeah. Three times, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and it's tied like Orton, Cena, HBK, Roman, Triple H. Uh, Vince only has one, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vince has one. Vince Roman won twice, right? Who cool. he won in fifteen? Philly. Roman has two. Okay, yeah, yeah. Roman no, has two. does no. he have two? No, he, he, only has, one. One. he has one. He only has or one. No. Yeah. Remember, he had to come in at one, and then he had to defend his title in the Rumble match. He, he lost, lost to yeah. Triple H. H. Yeah. So that'll that'll pretty much wrap it up here. Um, unless you guys have any last closing things. I'm good. 
Andy, you have a show this weekend? Yes, I do. It's uh, Backbreakers Entertainment at Archibald, PA. Me and my tag partner, Matt Turner, will be taking on Carver Cross and uh, Cougar Hunter, Rod Wilder. So, should be good that, uh, that yeah. triple threat tag match you posted the other day. Yeah, that, true wrestling. That's a, that, uh, that's a good one. That's a good match, man. Um, I'm a I'm a big fan of the other Andy that's you're going against. Yeah, the, Unbreakable yeah, Andy yeah, Arnold. Yeah, I wrestled him many times. So yeah, he's, that, we, uh, the last show, the last true show, we wrestled them in a match, and the Kings of Mustache, we came out and... Uh, yeah, jumped us and get double DQ, so that's why there's a triple threat. So yeah, uh, you guys, you guys go, you guys do good work together when you're against, even with or against each other. I'm excited for that. I have to go see your other partner, man. I I, I always plug your podcast. I hear his voice all the time. I haven't met him and I haven't <laughs> seen him wrestle, but I, I gotta do, I gotta make that happen soon. Um, yeah, definitely. Uh, you have a podcast coming out soon in a couple days. Yeah, actually, we recorded. I did it before we got here, so when I go home, I'll post it. So it'll be up tomorrow. It might be up tonight, but tomorrow. So <laughs> keep an eye out for Call <laughs> the Power Ring episode 33 of Rumble Time. Again, at 33 episodes. Yes. Um, uh, Tyler? Um, no, not really. We're pretty quiet right now. I have a brew fest coming up in February at the Walking What about that? You want to talk about that special guest coming to the brew fest? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> we'll be, well, I guess us. I don't know, we'll be there live for so this so when you see us. when you see tornado tag when you see ten eight round when you see uh, bang and beers it's all under the uh, interviews at everyday people umbrella mm-hmm. it's kind of like Kevin Smith's Smodcast it's we're all in the same family um, but we will be doing an episode of banging beers me and Ben and then Tyler when, when he's free he's gonna come and sit down with us mm-hmm. um, we're gonna be trying beers uh, mm-hmm. having breweries come over talk to us we're gonna have people coming as long as you're not super yeah. intoxicated we'll probably we'll have. Back. I can get at least probably 10 guests. I'll have the brewery of every brewery that we do a beer with this year for the Scoop Series Championship. Hopefully so. hopefully our table's done by then, yeah. and then the breweries can come and slap stickers on it as do well. You, do you still have that beer, though? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't have it right now. Uh, Rotunda has it, but I'm getting it back. Can, the, can, the, can, the, can, the belt, cool. can the belt be on our table? Yeah, that's yeah, well, yeah well, it'll be here for a little bit. Usually I walk around with it. I put it everywhere so everyone sees it, and then. But yeah, yeah, well, awesome. That's I'm pumped. Cool. Yeah, we're gonna so we're gonna be live. We're not. I don't know if we're gonna be live yet. Probably not live because I don't know the internet situation. But we will be doing a recorded episode at the Brewfest. And where's it at? Tell people. Where, where uh, the Fractal Elks. Right now it's the Fractal Elks. We do have a meeting tomorrow at two o'clock because apparently they were mad at us <laughs> because it rained. It rained last year and the grass got muddy, oh. but it grew back a week later. But they're kind of, they were kind of mad. So it rains every year there. So and we, I don't get it. Yeah, so we have a meeting tomorrow at two o'clock. So we'll decipher and. Uh, whether or not it's going to be there. So yeah. as of right now, we're like 80% sure it will be. Cool. Um, yeah, so keep keep an eye on that. We're really, really excited for that. Um, I'm actually getting a canopy tent and everything, so it's going to be really fun. So, um, what, do you, what do you got? Uh, I'm kind of quiet right now as well. Uh, happy birthday to my friend Brandy. I'll be down to join you shortly. Uh, we'll have a few drinks. And if you're not doing anything tomorrow yeah. night, please come out. Check out PPW Impact One Night Only. Come have a conversation with myself, Tony, Ben over there, who's not really paying attention. And uh, our crew of people, we love to talk wrestling, like I said in the beginning. Please come have a conversation with us. I mean, it might lead to something bigger. Yeah, 100%. Um, the only thing I got is uh, I just put all the bios out today for the three interviews coming out. Really, really excited for all three of them. Um, talking to people that, you know, they've gone through some stuff. They experienced some things. Um, very, very deep stuff coming. And I'm really excited to let these people sell their story and, and show that, you know, no matter how hard life gets for you in any situation, you know, um, it's never over. You, you know, your, your story's never over. It, things can get really, really terrible and you can experience some horrible, horrible things. And these these people that are coming up in this next couple of interviews are, are, are living proofs of it. You know what I mean? And they didn't give up. They keep they kept grinding. They have they found their inspiration, whatever. It, you know, we'll hear what those what those are. Um, but it's never over. And if anyone ever wants um, an interview, you're more than welcome to come sit down and we'll get one going. Um, that's pretty much all I got. Come see us at the PPW show. Um, obviously, we didn't give the tickets away tonight. No one came in and asked for tickets. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to show up that night and <laughs> people in the parking lot are getting tickets. Uh, first, whether, three pack, first, three fa- uh, first three pack of family. Yeah. How, so how if, many tickets total do you have to give away? We have three front row tickets. Okay, wow. So either either if you're a family of three, you're getting them, or I will find three kids and they will they will be sitting front row. You can upgrade their tickets. Yeah, so we'll upgrade their ticket. Either way. Three people at that show will be Man, watching. I wish I could get home for that. Yeah, three people will be front row with us, um, hanging out, watching the show. And once again, that most of our most of the crew will be there. You'll be a, a I getting, might be there. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, Andy will definitely be there. I might be there too. I don't know what I'm yeah. doing that day yet. He'll be up at the table, right? Yeah, yeah, he'll be up at the table. So two of our members will be working. Um, maybe you know, the, our our maybe Andy will come over and say hi to you guys or do something cool with you. Yeah. You know, be, you know, because he's part of the show. Anything, we'll figure something out. But uh, yeah. Um, by the way, uh, Andy, is there a chance we can get you to go to the ring with an interviews with everyday people shirt? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> can, you, can you fit an extra large? I'll let you borrow it. Can I cut it? <laughs> you absolutely can. Okay. Cut it. All right. Actually, my shirt is now yours now. All right. Just give me one that's ripped and I'll, I'll make it work. Yeah. All right. We'll do that. That's that's what Andy's walking out to. You got to Hogan it when you get to the right. Oh, sure. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Hogan and throw it to somebody. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. I'm with it. Guys. <laughs> I just got my new jacket, though. I'm going to wear my new jacket. I didn't get my gear made yet. Oh. The guy. Uh, said he made it, but his mom's going through some trouble, so he's like, "I'm out of state." So, is there? Can we get a pre? Can we get like a teaser? Of what it's gonna look like? Gambit. Yeah, you're going, you're <laughs> going a gambit look. Yeah. Isn't that kind of what Ace Austin's look is? is he's more gambit. Joker. Yeah, my, this is straight gambits. Uh, like yeah. brown trench coat, purple. Well, yeah. Well, it's a, the pink and everything with the silver, and then the pink side sides are shiny, and then it has my logo and the X Men colors on the back. You gonna come with a bow staff? The, the back is no, no, no bow staff, no gloves. Are you in hairband? Oh. Are you gonna do a headband? No, no headband. Oh. Just the, my pants and my my boots. Like the cards? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> called, I'm gonna be leave with gambit. So, yeah. Like, so if you're a fan, uh, a fan of comic books, but I didn't get my gear yet. Yeah. So, if you're a fan of comic books and everything, uh, Andy is your guy when it comes to wrestling because he likes to his he definitely incorporates his love of comic books with his wrestling gear. Yeah. Green Lantern, Wolverine, Wonder Woman, X Men, Spawn. I actually have a question for Andy. Sure, go, ahead. go ahead. So you said uh, for one of the worst gimmicks, it was the Ding Dongs, yes, right? Yes. And you said they were like lucha type. Yeah, they, I think they were just two nobodies they got, but their their suit they had like a, a the lame luchador mask and they had a full body suit. Just go to Google so, and type in the ding So dongs. could you say that they were the conquistadors? Oh, oh my god. Oh, hey, hey bang That's a good one. Nailed it. Huh. And they were Thank goldish. Yeah. <laughs> I've been I've been sitting on that one for like an hour now. <laughs> so, that's a good one. So awesome appreciate this. In our we we have like another like because I don't have enough private chats going on. Um, we have one going on with your parents and me and Heidi. Um, oh, oh, you know, because no. we we plan every wrestling show. We go to his his his, his parents' house and we have a blast. They're amazing people. We love them to death. Um, so he, uh, you're, you're uh, something about making the food we're gonna have, and and Heidi's like, yeah, we'll have we'll bring I guess cheese or something like that. And uh, and I said, yeah. And after we eat it, we'll or something about eating it and then cutting it. And I was like, I'll be here all week. No. Like your dad, <laughs> your, your dad was probably loving it because his, his dad always oh, comes up with those. Yeah, his dad's very notorious for those jokes. If if um, all my friends are dead. Who posted that? <laughs> I just seen that. I'm on, oh Marty. yeah, the the put, last put thing. The perspective. <laughs> yeah. So the last thing here. Um, if if you're still tuned in or you're gonna watch this later. Uh, take a look at our page on Facebook. Um, we're getting there. Um, we're at, we just hit 177, so we're wow. closing up on that 200 mark. Um, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. We put some stuff out there. Once again, tickets are for ticket. Tickets are still up. Send us a message, and we'll we'll find something for you to do for them. We'll so we'll do something creative. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, just trying to find the uh, closing music here before as we leave. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. Yeah, if you. Hum Hogan music or something. <laughs> and uh, I just want to piggyback off of what you said. Um, if you're feeling a certain some kind of way and you're not sure what to do about it, don't be afraid to reach out to any of us in our group chat. We have we all have messengers. You can find us. You can reach out to us. If you need to talk to somebody, just go ahead and ask. None of us are really afraid to shy away from talking to somebody. You need somebody just to help you through something or help you get through something. My messenger is always open. I'm sure Tony wouldn't be afraid to talk to somebody. I don't know how you guys are about that. I hate that stuff. No, I'm just um, <laughs> another cool it's thing too. Um, I hope that doesn't play. It's not. I was just gonna say I really like the sticker. I hate the sticker right here. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if the camera's still on. We'll throw it. Yeah, it's still on. Um, another thing too. I'm, I'm gonna give another plug. What time is it? Actually, I might cut out of here. We might cut out right now and then leave everything up because I actually want to make. I'm running out the possible right after this. We want to go to the. I want to make a last appearance before it closes at 10 at Culture to Culture. Another thing what he was saying to piggyback off, if you have something to talk about and you want to get it off your chest, check out Culture to Culture Conversation Cafe in Pottsville. It's literally an open mic. They have a theme every month. Just go and listen to people's stories. You don't have to go up and talk. It's 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 a crazy good experience. It's like really, really cool experience. They do a lot of good things there, so check them out as well. Um, we're going to close out right now with uh, – I'm just going to pick a song. I don't even know what that we one, got here. Um, go ahead. You got something? No, I, I said. 
That oh. one was good. Is it, is it all local people? Or this, it... Yeah, this guy. So this guy's from Harrisburg. I met him. We did a live show um, at the uh, at, at the it's called the HMAC Center in, yeah. in Hamburg. Really, really cool place. They do a lot of cool stuff. I'm actually going back out there. They're doing another event. And uh, so I'll be going out there doing another live podcast. We actually just set up a date today um, in uh, in March. So I'll be, de- I'll be doing that again. But the local rapper from the Harrisburg area. Um, I'll, I'll play the song he gave me before. I don't want to. I don't want to step on toes and play anything he doesn't want played yet. Um, <laughs> this has been Tornado Tag Podcast episode four horsemen. Yeah, oh. four horsemen, and we had a whole bunch of people on here again. Uh, thank Good. you once again, for uh, Vox, for calling in and 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 helping us out and talking to us and having some fun, Austin. This fun thing's working out pretty well, don't you think? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, man. It sounds crystal clear. Yeah, too, it does. Right? It sounds, it sounds better than we it's, do. A, <laughs> it's, a, it's the headset I'm using. Oh, it's, it's, wow, a, it's, the head, it's the headset and coming through the mixer. I told oh, you about it. Yes, that's that's yes. what it is. All right. See you guys later. Bye. Just living my life. Just living my life. Just living my life. Just living my life, just living my life, just living my life, it's my time. Just living my life, just living my life, just living my life, it's my time. Just living my life, just living my life, just living my life. I came from Philly, then I moved to Harrisburg Spent time in Cali, blowing on the rarest herb Made some bread, was a manager then Good at dealing with people, couldn't handle the pen Money had me scrambling, like Randall back then Ups and downs with my chick, hard to handle it, man What's the dough really mean without family and love? Still go for your dreams, but put family above All the shallow shit, people try to take you off your path You don't allow that shit Stop wanting love from those that don't know you Appreciate your folks that seen what you go through Why would I stop? I don't even know how Papa Zan, that's the only way I slow down I could entertain y'all, but I'm no clown Puff and puff on that L till it blows down Just living my life, just living my life, just living my life Just living my life, just living my life, just living my life